Okay, you can unmute your Hello, microphone. Hello, everybody, especially the body. It's a really exciting, Hello. fantastic, amazing day today as we talk about the snatching away. And I have with me today Liam from Scotland, Bethany from Arizona, Peter from Suriname, and Sam and her mum, Sarah, from uh, Arkansas, I got that right. <laughs> and we're waiting on Jax. This is my Jax favorite. Is having thing, some, and, yeah, she's having some internet stuff. Her internet yeah. isn't that good, but she'll come in yeah. when she's ready to come in. Uh, the reason why Sean is not here, is because he's, <coughs> so that's why he's mm -hmm. not here. Mm -hmm. And so this is my favorite topic, guys. And well, one of my favorites because the gods agape love is my actually another favorite of mine i don't know about you guys and how excited you are for the snatching away topic very <laughs> very excited of course <laughs> i think it's everyone's favorite oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and well, hello to all away. the 15 people watching it's obviously a very people. popular topic so <laughs> let's get to it because liam's going to actually read 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 51 to 57, aren't you, Liam? Yeah. So you're ready to go? And those verses are incredibly important. And there's a lot to say with those verses. So let's go. Let's go. Let's read the verses. Okay. You can read. Well, I don't have not brought it up on screen. Oh, 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 okay. So I'll just read So you'll have to read it from your concordant or your screen. Okay. So 51 to 50. Oh. So verses 51 to 50, what, 56 or 55? So we'll start with 51 and then we'll go to 57. Okay, so do you want me to pause so we can talk about it? and then? Yeah, can... uh, just read the whole, yeah, we can, um, then think... I'll bring up my screen yeah. as well. So read it oh. and then I'll bring up my screen we should, and then we'll yeah, talk about it. We'll pause in between the verses because there's a lot to say here. So I'll start off in verse 51. Lo, a secret to you am I, Paul, who's telling. We all indeed shall not be put to repose, yet we all shall be changed. Mm -hmm. That's the first verse. Go. And it so, says it right there. So conference build up the screen there. So that's the first verse. Okay. Today, so my notes, I, and then we can expand on my notes. So my notes up. Paul gets our attention by saying, lo, this is important what I'm saying about the same kind of thing. <laughs> Paul is telling us a secret that not all the saints will be put to repose, die, and then get resurrected, but there will be some saints that will still be alive from being snatched away. He goes on to say, we shall be changed. Our bodies will be changed from what we have now to spiritual bodies. Now we can expand on that, guys. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, so What's here's that? the... Go, go, go ahead, go ahead. Go Did ahead, yep. Yeah, that was... Oh, scary. I just think that's exciting. Sorry. Yeah, yep. that, that is exciting. So the question uh, is, what do you think our spiritual bodies will be like? Uh, well, they will be better than the ones that we have now, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> better, yeah. better is... I have mine on order. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They're going to be amazing in more ways than we can imagine, I think. You know, like we can imagine yes. how great it's going to be, but our imagination oh. pales in comparison to the reality oh, yeah. of, of what's oh, going to yeah. happen. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. It's really going to be amazing. I think there'll be a lot of, what do you think, Peter? There'll be a lot of light coming from our bodies, like a glorified bodies. Yes, I think we're going to be well, brighter than the sun. Uh, the light that will emit from our bodies will be <laughs> unbelievable just in the way that Jesus appeared to Paul or Saul on the road to Damascus. So uh, uh, that will be the, that you have to think about that kind of light that blinded Saul for three days. And he, um, it had, he, he, uh, Ananias had to pray for him in order to, for his uh, blindness to go away. So and that, that, and that was Christ suppressing his glory. Because mm -hmm, if he came right. to him 100%, exactly. he would have incinerated him. So think about yes. that as well. And our bodies will be as his body. Same thing. Exactly. One yeah. one Christ had and body together. Remember that. It's very important that we have that position already spiritually. So our bodies will, yeah, we cannot even fathom what uh, how it will be. Because mm -hmm. there will no there will be no limits. 
yeah. we can travel at a at a speed of thought. I mean, mm -hmm. no limits whatsoever. And so no can, more pain, no more depression, of course, yeah. none of that. We're just going to yeah. feel amazing every single day for the rest of time and beyond that. No yeah. more pain, no more depression, no more anger, yeah. or jealousy, or guilt, or shame. Exactly. All of those things are going to be passing away, every single yeah. one of them. And that no itself more is a No more suffering, no more pain, no more any Not of that. All. It'll be yeah. amazing. It's going to be amazing. Right. Right so, now, yeah. in our, in our yep. bodies, we can use our brain for maximum 10%, maximum. And, mm -hmm. of course, our brain capacity is way larger. And, of course, in our glorified bodies, our whole brain will be utilized. And that will not be 10 times. No, mm -hmm. it will be a billion times because uh, it's uh, a, a different calculation, so to speak. So you will remember everything since the moment you came out of your mom. You will remember everything. Yeah, so, every single se se second, every single day that you've ever lived. And it will also be that same way for everyone else as well. In the yeah, and we'll know each other's yeah. lives. We're just like, yeah, I know what you did on Earth. <laughs> yeah. 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 So when you look at another being, you know, let's say you're another human being, you see what they think. You see it immediately. You see their spirit thinking. Mm -hmm. So you see spiritually immediately not only physically so it will be wow <laughs> yeah it's beyond our expectation exactly. beyond and, our wildest dreams <laughs> and the speed of the snatching away is of course you you see the word already snatched away it's a great speed that means it will not be visible to other beings or other humans on earth not be uh -huh. visible Snatched away rescued jesus our rescuer out of the coming indignation i love that oh, one yeah. Uh-huh. Good one. So let's go on to the next verse, shall we? Yeah, so, okay, I'll, so I'll read it from this one. So, okay. in an instant, in the twinkle or the casting of an eye at the mm -hmm. last trump, for he will be trump trumpeting, and the dead will be roused and corruptible, and we shall be changed. Mm -hmm. So the dead in Christ are resurrected first, and they are, glo and they are glo glorified first, and then we are glorified, and then we're both snatched away together into the clouds. Exactly. Okay, so I put our bodies will be changed at the casting of an eye. It will be super yes. quick. Our bodies will be changed at the last trump. And how many, what is this trump and trumpeting? We can talk about that later. But how many times do you think that that will happen? We don't know, really. But that's a question. Do you like twinkling of an eye or casting of an eye, guys? Uh, casting. It's more twinkling, is a, twinkling is a wrong translation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Isn't wrong. that from the KJV? It doesn't yeah, have to get yeah it's a it's a word a greek word called ripe and it's like casting or tossing mm -hmm. so that's what it means and it's a tossing of an eye so you look uh at yeah there are three things that are important in terms of what will happen then in terms of our change first of mm -hmm. all you see mm -hmm. uh let's see can, can you go up a little bit yeah sure not a problem then it says in the uh, in an instant. That's the, the instant is the Greek word atomos. You uh -huh. can hear the word atom in it, and an atom in time is the smallest time particle possible. That is the speed is one second divided by a number that is five and forty three digits after that. So it's five and then 43 digits or, or, or numbers. I don't know how you say it. And then the, the point or the period and then the zero. So it is a huge, huge number uh, by which the one second is being divided. That's an atom in time. So in that, yeah. that speed will be our change. That is the nice. speed in which we are changed. The casting of an eye is the momentum the moment in which the change will happen the, the occasion that the change will come the, that occasion we will toss our eye to something and the third thing is at the last trump. that is the sign the last trump. so i think we will hear a trump and because we hear something we will look in that direction and by looking it will be changed so that will be the order sign mm -hmm. momentum and speed okay does anybody have any questions 
or like anything that they want to say about these this verse before we go on to the next one? Uh, there is some things that we can say, but we'll save but we'll save it for later because it's kind of mm -hmm. a big thing. So we'll just so go through this. You're ready to go on to the next one? All right, let's go. One Corinthians fifteen fifty three. Go for it, Liam. For this corruptible must be putting on incorruption, and this mortal put on immortality. I said, for this body that is decaying must put on a body that never decays and never gets sick. And this body that dies puts on a body that never dies. When God says he's yes. going to do something, he'll do it. What's that, Sam? I said, and do it amazingly. Uh -huh. Perfect vessels. Perfect. Yep. And, 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 and notice how it says must. This corruptible must, must. Be on corruption. It doesn't say it might or it's going to, it just says must as it is going to happen. Yes. So that's important. It cannot not happen. It has okay. to happen. Exactly. Yep. Mm. Okay. All right. Liam, does anybody have any like comments on that apart from what we just said? And do you want to go well, on to 54? Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. So now yep. whenever this corruptible should be putting on incorruption and this mortal should be putting on immortality, then shall come to pass the word <coughs> that is written, swallowed up was death by victory. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are in corruptible bodies now. Our bodies are dying deadly. We will put on that incorruptible body that never dies when we are snatched away. That beautiful immortal yeah. body full of power and completely spiritual. So we want to expand on um, that. And also I said, who thinks that this verse has to do with the saints being snatched away? Or do you think that it has to do with the saints as well as the consummation? That is the question. Mm. It's to do with the saints. Everything the consummation. Mm. Interesting. All of it. What, what was the question? I didn't know I understand. Will it just be the saints or all of the consummation? Oh, so is I this... I, I can't see it, I'm sorry. Is your question saying, is this a verse speak, speaking of the believers? This verse, or? yes. Who thinks oh, that this well. verse has to do with the saints being snatched away, or do you think that it has to do with the saints as well as the consummation? Well, this verse is talking about the saints, because when it says that death is swallowed up by victory, it's speaking about the believers. It's not speaking about yeah. all of creation. Uh -huh. But they will be freed from death, but first it's us, and then everyone else. The whole of chapter 15 is about uh, resurrection, more or less, or the, mm -hmm. the, the, the greatest part of that chapter. So yep. personally, I believe that it's about both at the end of the day. It's about both. both two yeah, layers. the whole thing, yeah. So in the, first, in the first place, of course, the saints, because that will be imminent. And of course, at the end, of course, all the other corruptible bodies must also put on incorruption. So... I think it's mm -hmm. both layers are uh, are valid, but of course, in the shorter term, it's the same because the mm -hmm. consummation is more than thirty thousand years yeah. uh, later. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. No worries. So, one Corinthians fifteen fifty five. I didn't actually write anything for that. <laughs> Where oh death <laughs> is your victory? Where oh death is your sting? That's going to be a great day. A great yeah. Day. Oh, it's sin. Yeah. I yeah, that's a really good verse there. Yeah. Yeah, the sting of death is sin. Yet yeah, the power of sin is the law. Yeah, the sting of death yeah. is a dying process. Having corruptible flesh means we are not able to follow law. Do you agree with that? Yeah, of mm -hmm. course. Uh -huh. We're gonna okay. uh, have a great appreciation for the the contrast of our present afflictions and we're going to understand why we had to go through everything and and mm -hmm. why it's going to make that contrast better definitely definitely absolutely so yeah. sorry liam i took up your um reading okay. so go for it's it 57. <laughs> now, thanks be to god who is giving us the victory for our lord jesus christ and amen to that that's amazing mm -hmm. that's really good yeah. news yep yeah yeah 
Yeah, we should thank our God, who's the one who gives us that victory from death through what our Lord Jesus Christ did for all of creation on the cross. All will be vivified and all creation will be part of God's family one day. So All of creation will be immortal in Christ, but first is us, and then on and on it goes until all of the old creation comes into the new creation through Christ. Yeah. Every single person. Mm -hmm. And this passage is about change, the, the change of our bodies. Mm -hmm. So, Sam, you did want to read this. I don't know if you're able to read it from the screen. Are you able to do that? I can't really see it that well. Okay, I'll read it. It's all good. Okay, so yeah. now we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who are reposing, lest you may sorrow according as the rest also who have no expectation. Unbelievers aren't aware of the, I like to say realness, it's not a word, but of death. <laughs> so that they uh, sorrow not understanding death and what it really is. They don't have any expectation. They don't understand death. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. By the way, if possible, I don't know if it's possible, but I can see that you could enlarge in the, the document. Or mm -hmm. is yeah, it not possible? You go to the bottom, right? You could zoom oh. in. Oh, sorry, what was it's, that? It's, it's now at 150%, I can see, but you can uh, zoom 110 in. 110%. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you go to the bottom, right hand side yeah, of the screen. Then, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yes, exactly. Go. Maybe a little bit more. And then. Mm -hmm. Oh my yeah. god. Mm. Okay. Is that can better? Can you see it now, Sam? Yeah, I can see it a little better. Okay. So, all right. So, did we want to expand on that? Keep going. All right. One Thessalonians. Yeah. Keep going. Four, it's exciting. Four, four, four. Okay. Go for it. Sam. Me? Okay. Yeah. For if we are believing that Jesus died and rose, thus also. Those who are putting to repose will God through Jesus lead forth together with him. Mm -hmm. Jesus died, actually did not exist for three days and was roused by God. Thus, in the same way, those saints who are put to repose who died will be roused by God. Like Christ was roused by his father. I don't know why I put that in. And also through Jesus, God does it all. God does everything through Christ and the saints will follow on with Christ into the clouds. So, yeah. Oh, yes. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts? Yeah, for if, for if we are believing that Jesus died and rose. So if you don't believe that, you're not a believer. So mm -hmm. most of the Christians out there are all of them because they believe mm. that death is not death or that Jesus is God or whatever it is. So Paul is saying for if we are believing and retaining, as he says in 1 Corinthians 15, uh, verse 3 I think for if we are retaining if we are keeping this message then yes we are believers but if you don't believe that Jesus died as if he did not exist for three old days then you are not a believer yep. that's a fact yep. yeah, I, I don't want to make it too uh, complicated but I will add this in First mm -hmm. Corinthians 15 verse 3 it mm -hmm. also says for our sins Christ died for for our sins and it doesn't say it here mm -hmm. so this is very important to memorize that because i think the for our sins is an important addition that we realize that he truly died for our sins yep so yeah yeah okay all right sam go for it for 15 verse 15 for this is what we are saying to you by the word of the Lord that we the living who are surviving to the presence of the Lord should by no means outstrip those who are put to repose yep the living are not going to be changed immortal vivified before the dead in Christ do we're not going to prevent the saints who have already died to being transformed before we do and I thank Rhonda for helping me a little bit with my notes. She's awesome. So thank God for Rhonda. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Definitely. Uh -huh. Okay. So, what's the actual meaning of outstrip? Mm -hmm. I would exceed? say uh, exceed uh, or something well, like that. Yeah, be be snatched away earlier than the other group. Uh huh. 
Yeah, we're not going to precede them. We're, we're going to yes, them. we are not going to precede the ones who are repo being reposted or who are reposted. Mm -hmm. We will be snatched away together equally. Yeah. So they will be okay. they will be roused first, and their bodies will be changed. Our bodies will be changed, and then we'll be snatched away together. Okay. Also, the word the word yep. surviving is interesting uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. uh, personally, yes. I think that either something will happen just before the snatching away, something uh -huh. that will bring us into a true isolation, even without internet, so that we are truly isolated and it's just between uh, ourselves That's and God. our our Father God. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. I think that something will happen and something will be very, maybe scary. And that is the surviving, but also just surviving life because yeah. this eon is very wicked as we know. So surviving yes. is already on a higher level, very valid. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. It's verse 16. Go for it. You ready, Sam? Best oh, me? Yep. <laughs> I don't ever know who's going to read. For the uh -huh. Lord himself will be descending from the heavens with a shout of commands, with the voice of the chief messenger, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall be rising first. Uh -huh. That's powerful right there. <laughs> yeah, right. Christ himself will come down from heaven and will shout a command. He is the chief messenger. You agree with that? It makes sense. That oh, yeah. Yes. Christ is the chief messenger, and then the Rao saints will be rising first, and then at the same time, we, the living saints who are surviving to the presence of the Lord, will be snatched away together with those Rao saints in the clouds, and we will always be together with our Lord. The question is, what is the trumpet of God? Because every mm, believer seems that's to a have very a, good question. Uh, a different a question. opinion on that. Yeah, so there's a lot of guys <laughs> think. What do you think? Do you think it's a little yeah, trumpet? Yeah, in the sky. It, it, a little it, trumpet. If it was anything else, he would said said, said something else. Uh -huh. And I, I think that this is all written so that we can stay um, uh -huh. with our hearts and our, our, our hope on this, you know, um, uh -huh. in this world so that we can endure, keeping in remembrance that this is what's going to be instead of... Um, yeah, it, it brings us each hope every single day to remember this. And without this, you know, there is life is utterly impossible, you know. So yeah. I think that um, these words were meant for encouragement, yeah. you know, for each one of us to, to, to live each day and not to not to lose heart, you know, yeah. but just to keep on enduring because this is what's to be. Yeah. And what Martin yeah. says, always take everything yeah. literal. Yeah, yeah, that's why I say it's a trumpet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, it's Liam. Gonna be and the Bethany. most beautiful sound. Yeah. Yeah. Liam, what do you think it is? Do you think agree with Sarah and Sam on that one? Yeah, I I tend to agree. Yeah, I say. I mean, I I guess it's going to be a literal trumpet, or it could just be a noise that is being used as an expression for a loud noise. I have no mm -hmm. idea, but I know that we're going to hear it. It's not like a figure of speech, like, oh, there's going to be a trumpet, but there's not a noise. We're going to hear a noise. So mm -hmm. that's why not. Okay, Peter, you agree with Liam? Oh, yes, I, I agree. Um, what mm -hmm. I like is because if you look in the Revelation, when the messengers are blowing the trumpets, also judgment right. trumpets, it's those, a symbol. Yes. You, you could also say it's mm -hmm. they are, these are all trumpets of God. But the point is that in this passage, it's uh -huh. specifically Please. talking about the thumb, the trumpet of God. Very important. Yes. And also that word himself, Christ himself will come down. Uh -huh. And that's very important also uh, because that says that, that the snatching away is a very solemn event. Uh -huh. Very important event that yes. Christ and his body are going to be joined together. Wow, this has uh -huh. been ordained and this has been designated and planned by God before Eonian times. So uh -huh. this is a huge thing, a huge event in reality. Yes, it is. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so one for Sloan is 417. Keep going, Sam. You're doing a good job. Uh, okay. Um, Thereupon we, the living who are surviving, shall at the same time be snatched away together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus shall we always be together with the Lord. Yep. In verses 17 to 18, I believe everything will all happen at once and we'll, we'll do everything together. All the events will happen at the same time together. Why I think that this is, is because God talks about we do everything together in the celestials. We're seated together in, in, in the celestials. He mentions it like three times that we do this together, we do this together, we do this together. That's why I think everything happens at the same time. It makes sense to yes. me. What do you guys think? Absolutely, yeah. yes. Because mm -hmm. we're all together. one body. Yep. Mm -hmm. A body because we're together. Yeah. What's that, Sarah? We're all one body and the body all works together. Yeah. We will no longer um we will no no longer be separate, you know, we'll all be together mm -hmm. with the head, which is one is what controls the rest of the body. So mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. remove the head from anything and the of uh, the body can't live. So it'll yeah, always be together. Uh huh. That's the secret of the Christ, by yeah. the way. Yes. That's yeah. the secret. So obviously you agree because yeah. <laughs> one Thessalonians mm -hmm. 418. This one so, is really important. This one is really important. So one another with these words. Yes. Yeah, important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So as, as someone was to not believe in this and to say that it's false, then they would be contradicting that verse because the entire point of the snatching away because we're doing this is yes. to console one another. So if you don't yeah. believe in this, you're not consoling. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you're definitely yeah. not. And, and, and why should we have the right to steal the hope from anybody, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 If you don't believe, yeah. if you don't believe that would it, it will be very hard to be a happy camper. Absolutely, because this life sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yes, it does. Okay, so we've got some extra verses to discuss. We've got to start with Philippians chapter 3, verse 21, who will transfigure the body of our humiliation to conform it to the body of his glory in accord with the operation which enables him even to subject all to himself. Boom. So let's discuss that. that. really good. So our bodies of humiliation, which yes. is the ones that we have right now. So we live these lives of humiliation. Okay. That's why we're here. So this life is not going to be perfect. It's going to be filled with trials and tribulations. It's supposed to be that way. To conform it to the, to the body of his glory, which is in the celestials. It's not an earthly one. It's a, it's a celestial one. In accord with the operation to enable him to subject all of creation to himself, which proves the salvation of all right there. The reconciliation of all things back to God. That's mm -hmm. why he's doing it. That's our purpose. Mm -hmm. That's our lot in life. And it's in the celestials. It's not on the earth. Mm -hmm. Peter, what do you reckon? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, to me, I, I don't have much to add anymore. Mm -hmm. this, okay. this has to do with uh, the, uh, the huge expectation that awaits us. And if yes. we look at what he is doing, I mean, to be able to change our bodies in accord with that operation that at the, at the consummation enables him even to subject all to himself at the consummation that will happen. Then mm -hmm. all the enemies, all will be subjected to him. And God will subject everything to Christ, but it's the power that Christ already has. So it's a delegated power. It's God's power, obviously. So that's yeah. maybe so uh, important to add. Okay, let's go on then. Let's get to the next one. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 10, And to be waiting for his Son out of the heavens, whom he rouses from among the dead, Jesus, our rescuer, out of the coming indignation. I think there's something going to majorly bad that's going to happen. That's why we need to be rescued out. Yeah. That's my so thought. So what is, what is the indignation? Then? So what is that, Catherine? Indignation, good question. Something that is all that I know is that it's going to be something majorly bad something that that's going to happen i don't know what the word means i think <laughs> exactly. it's the tribulation okay. you think what tribulation. i think it's the tribulation 
That is what Chris, Christians call that tribulation, yes. Okay, I see. Okay. And to me, in my view, it starts when the first seal opens. So right. it doesn't start with the signing or a, the confirmation of the covenant with many, according to Daniel 9, 27. Mm -hmm. But it starts with the opening of the first seal. And within that period, after, I think shortly after the first seal opened, then that covenant with many will be confirmed. Very important also. And that's also the opening of the first seal is also the start of the day of the Lord in the broad sense. That will be more than a thousand years long because it will end at the burning up of heaven and earth at the end of the millennial kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Colossians 3, 4. We'll go to that one. Whenever Christ, our life, should be manifested, then you also should be manifested. Then you also shall be manifested together with him in glory. Absolutely. Wow. What's so the actual meaning of manifested? We were speaking about this verse last night. Mm. And Peter, you said this is not about the snatching away. This is about something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, this is uh, snatching away will happen, as I maybe said more often, in secret, because it will be fast. It will not be noticed. Uh, but the manifestation is the opposite because the manifestation is when we will be presented together with Christ, first of all, to the celestial world, billions mm -hmm. and billions of celestial beings, powerful celestial beings. And then secondly, at the return of Christ, we will be with him. And there in that capacity, we will be manifested together with Christ before the human world, the terrestrial world. So that's what I believe. And that's so in the celestial. That's in the celestial. It's not on the earth. Uh, yeah. The celestial is in the is in the heavens. Yes, that's the first yeah. manifestation, and the second okay. one is uh, uh, well a couple of years later after the, the start of the tribulation, when Christ returns, then we will return with, with him, and that's the manifestation before the terrestrial world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we've finished all those verses. Now let's go on and talk but about is there, what's actually... Is there another remark maybe or another vision, Yeah, like do you, uh, do you guys have view? any other like I, verses yeah, or I whatever? I like to hear that. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. You guys got any verses that you want to share that I haven't actually included? Oh, I think I our verse was the same as yours. I would okay. think that... Um, on a basic level, I'm saying that um, it says whatever Christ our life should be manifest and we would be manifested together with him in his glory that that we're just we, we've become one with him um at that time and that whenever he whenever he manifests also obviously we'll be with him because we are his body and i think that's a literal you know but. and spiritually speaking we are already together with christ now right now as we speak why yes. because together with christ we are hit in god mm. uh, colossians 3 verse 3 one verse earlier yeah. we are colossians. Hit in god together with christ so spiritually we are already together with christ in that sense uh -huh. very important also to realize that and i have okay. another first first thessalonians 5 verse 9 Mm -hmm. And it, it also talks about the indignation where, where it says, for God did not appoint us to indignation, but yeah. to the procuring of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. And the same thing, same indignation starts with the opening of the first seal. I would say almost a second after the snatching away that will happen. Then the next mm -hmm. era, the next administration of indignation will start so it's important to see that because people think some people at least and christian teachers they think that indignation is only god's wrath you know like oh god is going to pour out a lot of no it starts with deception that's how this indignation will start and the deception is the false peace p it will feel yeah. like the whole world everyone who doesn't love the truth will be deceived 
according to Second Thessalonians two, first I think eleven, somewhere like that. Uh -huh. Okay. Any more verses? Any more thoughts? Uh, I have me. Go ahead. Okay. All right, so let's get on to the subject of that. Some uh, believers has a verse as well. He just said he has. Oh, a verse. really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, go for right. it. What me? Yeah, you. Oh yeah. Okay, I have an I have another verse, okay. but this verse is yeah. Let me let me yeah. Let me take it. Let me mm -hmm. read it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's Second Thessalonians two, verse one through three, and this is a huge one because this to me is the most important proof that the snatching away will take place just before the tribulation starts or before the first seal opens second thessalonians 2 chapter 2 verse 1 through 3 now we are asking you brethren for the sake of the presence of our lord jesus christ and our assembling to him our assembling to him, that's the snatching away right there. And yeah. it continues that you be not quickly shaken from your mind, he says to the Thessalonians, nor yet be alarmed, either through spirit or through word or through an epistle, as through us, as that the day of the Lord is present. Very important. I will. I don't know if there's time, but I want to explain a little bit if possible. Is that possible? Go ahead. Okay. Go for it. And verse 3, no mm -hmm. one should be deluding you by any method, for mm -hmm. should not be the quote-unquote apostasy becoming first, and the man of lawlessness be unveiled, the son of destruction. This is a big one. Why? Because people uh, think that an apostasy is like a falling away from faith. That's how it is being defined nowadays in the last hundred years or a couple of centuries even. But it's not true because an apostasy is not a process because if that would be the case, then uh, when would be the, the true apostasy? Because what Paul talks about is something specific that should happen and then the man of lawlessness be unveiled it's something specific but if it's a process that happens in uh, thousands of years or even hundreds of years when is the real apostasy it is not apostasy it's the it's the wrong translation that greek word apostasia means departure departure and the context will decide or determine what kind of departure it is it could be a departure from faith so it's a standing away from faith that's a possibility but it's not mm -hmm. this context remember first one started with our assembling to him the presence of our lord jesus christ and our assembly to him that's the context so this yeah. means that departure in this context means physical departure from the earth going away from the earth that is what it means here that's one and another uh, very important remark why were the thessalonians in panic they were panicking because they they received a false letter as if it was from paul that the day of the lord already started they were panicking why because they thought that they were left behind that is the whole point that's why they were panicking so that's very important to remember in this passage that the day of the lord did not start yet when it starts that will that means that the snatching away was before it you see the point very yeah. important yeah. so okay. keep that in mind in terms of the timing of the snatching away okay are you guys you. happy to go on to the next topic the big uh, topic yeah. that we need to discuss i'm okay with that yeah. discuss. Okay, Peter. So everyone, we're going to talk about how some believers are saying that all the saints have to die and then get resurrected and all that kind of stuff. And um, well, it clearly shows that we don't die because yeah, it gives yeah. glory. You know, it it, it 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 even calls out death itself and 
you know, mm -hmm. um, scripturally, it's yeah. the best way to help. And, and that it's, it's been um, for us, you know, the people who have been snatched away, that, um, yeah. that it's been, uh, there's been victory over death, so. Yeah. Yeah, okay. so uh, the reason why some believers will believe this is mm -hmm. because they adhere to the Acts 28 position. So yeah. they believe that the the the, uh, the early letters of Paul are not for us, like Galatians and Romans and First Corinthians and Second Corinthians and Thessalonians, importantly. So they don't believe in the snatching away. They don't believe that we're going to be snatched away. We believe that we're all going to die. I'm not going to name names, but we're going to talk a little bit about that because it's important because it's been happening. Yeah. Yep. People Maybe that's talking. repose. Okay. So believing that maybe that's repose. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Before we go on to doing that, um, let's go and read the 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Now we are asking you, brethren, for the sake of the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling to him, that you be not quickly shaken from your mind, nor yet be alarmed, either through spirit or through word or through an epistle, as through us, as the day of the Lord is present. No one should be deluding you by any method, for should not the apostasy be coming first and the man of lawlessness be unveiled, the son of destruction? Yeah. Yes, I just read that, but it's very good to read it again because it's important. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Okay, so did you want to add your thoughts to this whole situation, Peter? Oh yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it, uh, yeah, I thought maybe maybe you guys can start, and then I can maybe. Okay, add well, I well I can start off with a verse. I don't know if you have this verse with you, Catherine. But it's First uh -huh. Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse fifty. This is the verse. No. I would like to okay, start. go for okay. it. Read it. Read it. Yep. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to read it. So, like I said, they believe that First Corinthians is not for us. It's not right written to the body of Christ. They believe that it's a, that it's a past administration, so it's not for us. So, uh -huh. when they interpret this verse, just keep in mind that they think that it's not to us. So it says this, now I am a varying bread, bread, reverend, that flesh and blood is not able to enjoy an allotment in the kingdom of God. Night, 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 neither is corruption enjoying the allotment of incorruption. Mm. So the question is, where is the location of this allotment in God's kingdom? Is it in the earth, which is what they will believe because it's for Israel in their mind, or is it in the heavens? So this is mm. the key question here. So of course it's in the heavens. Because we know that the Israelites will be enjoying the allotment of the kingdom of God on the earth. Because they will be on the earth. So how can this verse be speaking about the Israelites when Paul is clearly saying that this allotment is in the celestials? That yes. right there is a spanner into their whole theology about Acts 28, 2028 things. So I thought that I would just start off with that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Good one. Yep. Good one. Anybody else? <laughs> Got any thoughts about it? Well, now that just uh, let me uh, take my gun and shoot. Um, <laughs> first of all, if you study scriptures, and especially, of course, Paul's letters, then you will see and you will notice that uh, very important foundational doctrines like justification and conciliation they are teachings for the body of Christ. This is non-negotiable. This is very, very apparent. However, and now it comes, they are, these doctrines are nowhere mentioned in the so-called prison letters, Ephesians, Colossians, and Philippians. They are not mentioned there. So if they are not mentioned there, and if those prison epistles are only to the body of Christ and not the early letters, mm -hmm. where is conciliation and justi uh, justification? Where are they? They are nowhere yeah. to be found again in Philippians, Colossians, and uh, Ephesians. Yeah, Nowhere to be found. So mm -hmm. that's impossible because everybody will agree, and I think this group will also have to agree, that mm. justification by faith alone and conciliation are foundational doctrines for the body of mm -hmm. Christ. So yeah, yeah. here is already a second proof next to what uh, Liam already read that they have to be 
uh, the early letters have to be uh, addressed to the body of Christ as well. Mm. On top of that, or besides that, it's another point, in the previous administration, during, I call that the childhood phase of the body of Christ, there, will, there were visible spiritual gifts, like the gifts of speaking in tongues, healing, etc., etc. They were dispensed to the body of Christ as well next to Israel because God was still dealing with Israel at that time. But already then Paul announced in 1 Corinthians 13 that there would be a higher path of transcendence that awaited the body of Christ. But he mentioned it in a cryptical way because God, again, was still dealing with Israel at that time. So if you check out 1 Corinthians 13, uh, and we have, don't have to read it, but there you see, uh, when I was a child, I spoke like a child. When I was a man, etc., he was yeah. comparing childhood with sonship, let's say, with maturity. And he was announcing the maturity in the future at that time. So in the next phase, in this current phase of sonship, there would be no visible gifts anymore, no speaking in tongues anymore, no healing gifts and uh, um, uh, revelations and that uh, sort of thing. So only three invisible gifts, and those are faith, expectation, and love. Those are the three higher, the highest gifts, spiritual, invisible gifts. And what do you know? Where do we find those three already? In 1 Thessalonians 1, Thessalonians, one of Paul's earliest letters, in 1 Thessalonians 1, verse 3, where it says, unintermittingly remembering your work of faith, your toil of love, and endurance of expectation of our Lord Jesus Christ in front of our God and Father. All three current current era gifts of the Spirit are mentioned in one of Paul's earlier letters. And if you look at those three gifts, they are the central theme of all Paul's letters. If you look at faith, that's the central theme of Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, and Galatians, that is faith. If you look at love, that is prevalent in Ephesians, Colossians and uh, Philippians and expectation is of course prevalence in first and second Thessalonians so again all the three of uh, invisible spiritual gifts that are applicable in this time of the sonship the maturity phase of the body of Christ are found in all of Paul's letters both the prison and the earlier letters so this ties everything together it ties all of Paul's letters together. Yeah, so we just had to say that because there's a lot of people who will say that the snatching away is not for us. It's for Israel, and you're not going to get snatched away, and you're going to die. And like I said, we're not going to name names. We're not going to go too deep into it. But that uh -huh. right there, what Peter just said, proves that Romans and Corinthians and Thessalonians and Galatians are for us. And justification is a perfect example of that. You know, if you go into Ephesians and it talks about us being holy and flawless in God's sight. Why is that? Because we are justified. So if you exactly. go into Ephesians and you read it, yes, it's amazing, but if you don't understand the foundation of Romans, you're not going to understand Ephesians. They complement one another. So exactly. they are, as love, the, the, um, the gift of love is one that will not pass away. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. It, it, it'll endure forever. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. God's love. Yes. Yeah. So this is what everybody's been waiting for, the StreamYard link. So if you want to come in, I'll post up yeah. the StreamYard link. And we're <laughs> going to talk to about it. our own thoughts on the snatching away. So I've got a couple of questions for you guys to think about while you – and then I'll post up. What do you think the snatching away is going to be like? What do you hope we will be doing up in the celestials apart from reconciling the celestial beings? So if you want to come in, I'll just post it up now. Yeah. Um, awesome. Just a second. Well, it's going to be amazing. That's what it's going to be like. Oh, yes. 
Oh boy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm also going to pin that up the top of the chat so yeah. that you all can see. Yeah, it so easily. here's the link, guys. So if you go into the live chat and then you see StreamYard link, you can click on it, you can come on in, then we'll let you in. And we can talk and we can be joyful together and celebrate God's word together. Awesome stuff. <laughs> okay. Amazing so. stuff. <laughs> yeah. So right. what do you think the statue way is going to be like? What do you yeah. hope will be going, what we will be doing up in the celestials? Well, I know what we're going to be doing. We're going to be reconciling. Apart from reconciling, reconciling the celestial beings. Apart we're going to be celebrating and partying. And it's going to be amazing. We have no idea. <laughs> we have a kind of an idea, but we really don't. And if yes. you guys in the chat have any questions, come on in and ask those questions. And ask Peter, ask Liam, ask anybody else that wants to answer them. So, yeah. Oh, come on in. Jeff. Come on in. in the meantime. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hey, how are you doing? Hey. <laughs> hey in the doing? meantime, can I, can I say something quickly about the timing also? Is it possible? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. What is important to realize is that there are no signs whatsoever for us no visible or observable signs so no signs very important also not red heifer or whatever no signs at all that's important secondly if we want to also assess if the snatching away is closed because we can do that from paul's letters we can connect the snatching away timing with one event, let, let, uh, as I already mentioned, which is not even being defined, and that is the opening of the first seal. That is the start of the day of the Lord in the broad sense. But then there is another connection we can make because we know then that, that there is an event that can be defined, and that is the confirmation of that covenant with many. So we know that that event will definitely be happening after the opening of the first seal not long after it i think so then you can make a connection now in terms of okay when will be that confirmation because we know that will be uh, at the start of the, the last week of daniel the 70th week of daniel hello red hey red how's it going is that You're red ahead. pill matrix is that red pill matrix oh, am i right yes. about that yes. it's paul isn't it oh. <laughs> okay mm -hmm. No. Red okay. Hill Matrix. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So has anybody got any questions about the snatching way or what do you guys hope the snatching away is going to be like? Um, oh, well, I hope a lot of things, but I know that my hopes and dreams <laughs> will be far exceeded beyond yes. my comprehension. So mm -hmm. I know that it's going to be amazing. When it happens, we are going to be so filled full of joy that we are literally going to be screaming out for days and years. I am and beyond. It's never going to end. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, we are saved in grace. We are saved by grace. However, then we will be saved for grace. We will be saved to dispense grace to our audience. And to bless yeah. others is always a greater blessing than to receive the blessing. It's always greater. So it will be huge. Yes, definitely. We will be the vessels of grace that God will use to reconcile the whole thing back to himself. Yes. We will be put on display, or we are being put on display for the celestials to look at us. I'm really glad that, that uh, even the animals, because, uh, yeah, it, that was a nice creation on God's behalf. Yeah. All the dogs and all the cats, all the yeah, rest, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and even all the spiders, even all the spiders, and the chicken. Wait, what is that? <laughs> oh, what is it? Is no, it's pot. A dog? Um, hey, there's a dog. It's a dog. <laughs> it's a dog. <laughs> Actually, we call her Satan. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got, 26 people. we've got 26 people watching, so come on in, okay. guys. We've got plenty of room. We've got, like, we've got, hang on, seven people, so we've got three more spots left. Okay. okay. Let's do it. 
Yeah, right. uh, there's a, there's another point that I'd like to make. So to those mm -hmm. who would say that all the believers have to die, why does Paul say, Lo, I tell you a secret that not all shall be put to repose? That literally yes. contradicts everything that they're saying. It's yeah. just, yeah, I'm going to go on. Yeah, that point. Like and that's why there has to be people in the body alive when it takes place. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that's that's what's going to be so impressive, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The point is that 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 they these guys are uh, constantly saying that those early letters, First Corinthians fifteen, is the early letter, so that is not for the body of Christ, not addressed to the body of Christ. That is their getaway, and that's why we have to prove, and hopefully I have done that just now, prove that the early letters of Paul are also to the body of Christ. Very important to realize that. Mm -hmm. They will Paul, say yeah. that the administration of grace began in Ephesians. That's what they'll say. Or it yes, began yes. when uh, when the well, that's when they'll say that it, that it yes. began. But Not in true. reality, it began when he was severed, when Saul was severed. When, when Saul exactly. was severed. Yeah, yeah. And then he yeah. began to herald the evangel of grace. <laughs> and then yeah. it grew over time. And as the body of Christ matured, and then we get into Ephesians, Colossians, and Philippians. But that does not mean that Romans is not for us, because it is for us. And you can go into the book of Romans, where it talks about justification and us being baptized into the death, into it, and resurrection of Christ. That right there is foundational. That's why we're justified. So, yeah, that's what yeah, it is. Definitely, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Is there a question somewhere? Uh, there's a question from, uh, oh, well, there's a question from Beth. Yeah, we get to show mercy to wicked celestial beings and transform them. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hello. Hey, Paul. Yeah, I hope you're gone. You didn't hear me the first time, but I <laughs> had something wrong with the other phone. Yeah. Well, we can hear you now. Yep. All right, what, what are we commenting on right now? Just... Uh, Whatever we want to comment on, really. Yeah, just ask, just ask a question if you want to. Yeah, uh, the, the thing of it is we were, we were talking about, I think Liam mentioned that uh, we would be responsible to help others come into the faith, uh, especially during the millennial reign of Christ, I believe. Um, no. But are you talking about the tribulation period? No. 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 Celestials. Celestials. Well, we'll be reconciling the celestials back to God, yeah. But they will right, need okay, faith okay. at that point because faith won't be necessary. Actually, we won't have faith at that point because we'll see Christ. We, we yeah, will yeah, yeah. Now, so, what, I, what I'd like to the, ask about, what I'd like what? to ask about, though, and then I'll, I'll, I'll probably disappear here, but the 144,000 during the tribulation period, uh, who will preach to them to get them to believe? It says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Well, no, they, they believe they in a separate evangel. God preached to them by somebody. Yeah. yeah, they'll be. Yeah, they will be taught of who they are by the Holy Spirit, and they will believe in the kingdom message, not the one that's for us. That's also really important. I personally believe that the hundred and forty-four thousand will be coming into existence via the ministry of the two witnesses, because that's where it will that's start. What I was going to say. Yes, they will minister, and because of their ministry, they will be powerful, as you know. They will be able, and they will shut up the heavens so that it doesn't rain for three and a half years. Yeah, that's very nice. And that's why they will be very unpopular by the dwellers of the earth. They will hate two witnesses. and But their ministry will take care of coming into the faith, uh, not only the 144,000, but millions probably tens maybe even hundreds of hundreds of millions of uh, israelites especially people with israelite descent yeah that so, makes some sense uh, that maybe they, they have to be, they have to always come to faith by the word of god is the way the, yeah the true pattern by of hearing yeah. of the word yeah exactly yeah. okay that makes sense by the way about the celestials it's mm. not as you already understand not about faith because the celestials are already in the heavens they are already with God and they see God, they know God. So it's not about that, it's about enmity. And enmity needs to be conciliated, needs to be reconciled. That's the point. So God has you will use us 
to reconcile the celestial beings to him who are at enmity currently. That's the point. And it is, of course, the adversary, Satan, who sold, or is that the this past tense? And anyway, who put enmity there by making them doubt God. Uh, whose mic is that? Yeah, there's, there's, there's a path. Oh. Oh, okay. Jeff, Jeff there's, Scott, a, there's a path that talks about oh. the angels that are shut up in Tartarus. Uh, will they be released at that time, and then we will help help the ones that were uh, locked up in Tartarus? Oh, oh, who are you talking about? Uh, the angels that says they they did not keep their former uh, ah. abode. In the times of Noah, they were yeah. locked up in Tartarus, so they probably will be released during that time. Well, they will be released uh, uh, for the judgment first, and yeah. not uh, I'm not talking about the I I suspect I'm not for 100% sure, but I will I'm not talking about the Great White Throne judgment. That's another story. They will be released earlier through the uh, at the Great Tribulation at the time of the trumpet and bowl judgments. They will be released from the abyss where they are now. They are in an abyss, Tartarus, where they are bound with bounds with, with chains of darkness. And they will be released and they will really haunt the people who have the mark of the beast. So it will not be nice for them. There will be uh, locusts coming from the abyss. And I think these guys will take on that form. So ah. these are two, 200 uh, fallen angels too. And they will, of course, at the end, also be reconciled to God through our ministry. Yep. All right, thank you. Yep. Awesome mm -hmm. source. Mm. After we kick ass and take names, then mercy, yes. Uh. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to keep going out. I'll listen to you as I drive home. But uh, Okay. Love, okay. Grace and peace, Paul. Love, Grace and peace, brother. See you, Paul. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes. So the snatching away is our expectation, and it is a shame that some people don't believe in it, and they're farting mm -hmm. away. But this is going to happen because we're approaching the last days of this age. So it's going to happen. And yeah, the snatching away is not even, that's even the start of our expectation. It's only the yeah. start because the, our real expectation will come after the dais, after the process at the dais of Christ. Then we will have assigned our place, position, whatever. And then we will be manifested. Oh boy, that is one huge, uh, huge expectation. So the snatching away is just the means to uh to our expectation to our that real expectation hey, hey colin hello hi hey. Oh, you are colin. Hi. good to see you uh, well, it's you good are. to meet you this morning oh, by the way you might, you might have to mute your youtube oh yeah sorry yeah. that's okay <laughs> he says sorry like martin <laughs> sorry. Yeah. sorry not to cut you guys off i don't know uh oh no it's fine it's fine uh, You're so from Canada, you aren't you? Yeah. You're from yep. Canada? Yeah. Yep. So so sorry, sound the snatching away. So what are your thoughts on the snatching away? Me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it's going to be amazing. I can't wait for it. Uh, I just know that what happens after it, whenever it happens, doesn't really matter to me. But I just know that once it's over, it's going to be... Uh, Transcendently transcendent Aeonian yeah, yeah. burden of glory. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that's uh, enough for me to be able to wait as long as I need. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Totally agree. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And by the way, since we will re be able to remember everything after our bodies is changed, we will be able to um, remember every second or every even moment of our snatching away so we will exactly remember what our body will be like how we will get to uh, be in the air etc so we will be able to play it back slow motion in our memory 
Mm-hmm. Think yes. about that one. It's like the moment right before well, you my question. kiss someone that you love. You know, there's that <laughs> moment where you both look at each other and you know it's about to happen and you're so, you've been waiting for this for so long. And then, ta-da, sorry, Jack. Exactly. Now, as much as I'm looking forward to this next in a way, I have family. And that's going to be my biggest issue. My kids, my wife, you know. They'll all be taken care of. What do you think that way? That's what I figure, but, you know, we still worry about them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's only because you you may believe that um, you protect them now and um, that the good is, is coming. You think that it's coming because you're there. But the truth is, God is in control of everything, every detail, and he loves them even more than you do. Yeah, and so you just have to put your hope in the fact that God has a plan. He has it all worked out, and all we have to do is just, you know, just there's nothing we can do. And he's protecting them. Yeah, yeah, he is. He, he's, he's got his arms wrapped around you and your entire family and everybody that you love, regardless uh-huh. of what they believe. He, he's already got that plan set in motion. So that you know, you don't have to worry about anything. You just have to know that God is God. That's it. You know, yeah. They're in those yeah. hands. And that's the best hands yeah. that they can. <laughs> and and yep. they're no stranger to him. He, I mean, he is their creator. You know, he is their father. He's their creator. Every little part of that you love of them, he created that, and loves yeah. it more. Yeah, John. Yeah. He created it so that you would love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's that awesome. Yeah. How's it going, Jax? It's going, brother. (laughs) Hey, Jax. Bald waving. (laughs) Hey, Paul. Is it finally working? (laughs) So far, so good. So thank you. Where are you guys left off? Sorry to interrupt. I apologize. That's okay. So what are your thoughts and opinions on the snatching away, Jax? (laughs) <laughs> I agree a lot with Peter. So Peter said everything I want to say. Um, a lot of stuff. Um, right off the top of my head. Um, when we're told twice in one chapter that we are going to be surviving, it's indicative of we're going to be fucking surviving. Excuse my language. <laughs> surviving. Not just we're going to be hanging on by a thread. Those of us who are alive. But that's what my, my, my thought. And we see how the world yeah. is around, us, right? Mm-hmm. We look at the world around us. Like, Peter, you're awesome because you said a lot of things that Paul and I are like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not, nothing to take away from the rest of you, okay? No, no. <laughs> Just that we see in our era right now how close we are by the, the new nor, the neuromorphic computer they have now. I don't know if you guys know about that thing. Okay, Peter, you, you do know. I know. You and Scott know and others that they have a neuromorphic computer so the newer links coming in and we can see the digital id coming in we can see things coming in they're paying a, playing a part in revelation the unveiling and it's all tying in that where we are at we are going to come against okay i'm sorry to depress depress anyone we are going to have the battle of our lives is coming up soon peter i think you believe yeah. you agree that's why we're going to get rescued. We're we're surviving. When he says it twice in one chapter, he's not even joking here. He, has, he thought 2020 was a big thing. I don't want to say it because of the, the algorithms on YouTube. We yeah, thought that happen. that was just that was just like a, a and tell and play and play with it, play with it, right? Mm-hmm. It's going to get real dark. What we see the world is sideways. Up is right is wrong. Up is down. It's sideways. The world's nuts. We know, and this. we can already see that they're gnashing their teeth. They already seem like they're barely held back by chains already. Yeah, yeah. creation is burning. So those four under the Euphrates get released, but that I don't think that we're. I don't know if we're there. What, Peter? What do you think? Are we there for? No, the, no, uh, no, no. I know because no. they're going to kill a third of the earth. Yeah, but, that will be in a later stage, way, way later. But we're coming up so close and so fast, so fast, people that. Like, Thank you, Lord. Like, thank you. Lo- Sorry, I, I was so upset that I could not get on earlier, and but I let you guys all talk, right? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Continue. Again. I am, I am well, loving this. Continue. <laughs> well, we're at a point now that we are seeing. Okay, so 
as of a month from, okay, today's the 22nd of April. On May 27th, the WHO uh, does do their vote on the World Pandemic Treaty. Okay, that's coming up. And then in September, they do the whole UN summit meeting where the whole one world government's coming into play. People, my, my yeah. beloved, we are coming so fast, so close, so quickly. You, you see how the time is going. That um, <laughs> we are going to be surviving. Hey, how many of you guys are like actually thriving? God is good to us all always, but we're we're just hanging on. I know, right, Liam? I know. Scotland is a mess. Okay, I already know the UK is a mess. Uh, yeah. Canada's a mess. The states is a mess. It's going to get worse. Canada whether, too. <laughs> whether Trump gets now, Trump, Trump may be a player. He's a player. King Charles is a player. There's a lot of different little world. They all that I know. Upchuck, I call him King Upchuck. They're all like players, but. I know I got lots of I got so much to say. So does Paul. Anyways, I think that yeah. we are so close. How yeah. close are we? I don't know. But we are going to be surviving and things are going to get really tough. So I'm going to say this. This is one thing I want to say to all of you. And anyone listening here, okay, right now. Now you can take this or leave me, okay, with this. I'm going to this publicly. Hold on. Jeff, you might need to mute your I thing. Your your it. Oh, all right, sorry. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If you all are, if you all got some food and water stored away, do you have some? Okay. Very important. Right? We started Noah with, was a prepper. Okay. Noah was a prepper. That, my husband said it very well. Um, back when uh, 2020 hit, we'd already known 10 years prior to put some food away, put some water away, because shit's gonna get really fucking real. Okay, excuse my French, but there he is, okay? Y'all need to start doing that. If you have not started doing that, do that, because God does help us thrive, like Red Bill Matrix was saying that, but we're gonna be surviving. And things, are you going to go along with what they're going to push next? Because it is a digital ID, it's coming fast. Europe is getting it this fall, this fall. So any brethren in the EU, oh, yeah. the EU it's coming, right? Mm -hmm. I know you guys are asking my thoughts, and I've got all these things I want to say. And just say it, say it. Well, I'm Better to it. be overprepared than underprepared, right? Yes. But it, 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 I came to the suspicion that if you know what, if we're snatched out of here, our kids mm -hmm. know what we got, right? They know, mom and dad, uh -huh. I've been preparing because you know what? You never know it's going to be a disaster. You never know it's going to be. We got war looming. We got rumors of war and all mm -hmm. these different things. Mm -hmm. And we need to be prepared for what's coming because when we all get cut off from each other, negative. I'm not being negative. No, you know, it sounds like I'm negative, Nelly. No, I'm not. No, I'm, you're I'm being, being real. Like, it's realistic. I'm being yep. Because why are we surviving? Why does he say that twice? Paul went ahead mm. and he could see that we are just going to, we're not going to be able to talk to each other anymore. That's going to be. But mind you, Peter, Scott Hicko, his video about a year ago about. EMP strike, why that happens now? What does the, the WEF talk about? Um, that 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 poly cyber crisis and the EMP that takes out the whole globe, the whole earth, right? What because Scott, you know, Scott onto something that our our snatching away is going to be so massive and so. The dead in Christ rise first. The amount of power that will take. The event horizon. The event horizon. The event horizon for Christ to snatch the dead first. And we don't strip those. And us who are alive and surviving will shut the whole thing down. Why do they have that Lucifer telescope watching, 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 waiting to get the satellites up there? I know, oh, Peter, you. I know, Peter, no, you know. We're, they're watching because they're waiting. They're like, thank you coming. And that Lucifer telescope is, is a Catholic. It's from the Catholic Church. All oh, right. From the, from the Vatican. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And they're watching for our snatching because they're waiting yeah. for those trumps to sound, the dead to rise. And it's going to take the whole world out. No one's going to notice we're gone. If you no. study no. Revelation and also some uh, 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 Hebrew scriptures, then you will you will not see anything that even smells like technology. You will not see that. You will no. see horses. You will see blood. You will see birds. 
that are feasting on the flesh of oh, horses. Yes, okay. So okay. why horses while they have why while they have tanks while they because have of the like missiles, I just got that. Wild horses. Why? I just got that, Peter. I just no. I'm thinking that John's thinking back in the day, and he's back. No, 2,000 years ago, he's thinking, but you know what? Because they're putting the freaking dark ages because we got snatched out of here. So, guys, don't don't be disheartened, okay? God takes care of us all. You guys mm. all know that, okay? But Thank you, Jack. Really, Thank really weird, really quick. If yeah. we're, we're coming into this. We are so close. The snatching yeah. away will be an evacuation. That's right. Yes. I know. I know. Sorry. I know. See, I, I've been watching this whole time, and I'm like, hey, Lord, do you want me to come in? I know. Okay, you guys go ahead. I, that's my he thought. He saved the best for last. He saved the <laughs> yes. best for last. Uh, dude, get some food and water, though, bros. Bros and sisters, okay? Get some shit going on. If you need medication, get them. Get them, get them, get them, okay? Get what you need now because we, we're going to be here for some things, and we're going to see some stuff. It's, gonna, it's this year and into the 2025. They've got a new pandemic on the rise. We all know that. Oh, yeah. If anybody, oh, yeah. if anybody needs... Um, uh, like a, a can you hear Paul list, in the background? A short yes. list. Yeah. If anybody needs a short list of what to what to, uh, I'll put that on my my YouTube. Prepare, yeah. I'll get that out to you guys. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Ask right. me. Ask me, and I'll, I'll give you a short list of do 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 it do it do it. Food, now. water, medication. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. <I'm> <laughs> That's my thoughts on the snatching away. I'm like, okay, Lord, you're gonna you're gonna put us some food because you know what? This is our spiritual training ground. Thank God oh, we yeah. don't love this eon. Oh God! Investing nice. yeah. for Tim. Fishing lures. Fishing lures. Damn straight. Yes. <laughs> but they're also um, the, the wasting deer disease. They're killing off the the wildlife. They're killing this off. The they're, they're 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 killing off the fish. They're doing everything so we can't run. We can't run. We can't, we're gonna. You know what? We are gonna have to rely on God. Now that's as always. Yeah. To what extent? I know, Liam, you're in Scotland, so like you're in like a UK, you're in an island. I know. And so, well, Peter's down in South America, but you're in Suriname, right? United yeah. States. I'm sorry, my brother. I love you so much, and I'm in Canada, so we're just as bad as you. We're... Yeah. Well, um, uh, no, we're I not. We're not. We're like we're blessed. We're blessed. We're blessed yeah. by God. But yeah, we're course. gonna go. We're blessed, but we're fucked. As long as we know what's going, as long as you know. Oh, sorry, Peter. As long as we know what's going on ahead of time, then we can be prepared for what's coming, right? God gives yeah, us exactly. wisdom. My people die for True. lack of knowledge, right? Yep. So True. we are his people. That's a transadministrational scripture, in my opinion. And um, I know I come in as like the bad news, bad news Betty. <laughs> hey, guys, start prepping because real news. Real. Bro, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's about being realistic. Yeah. Yep. We have to, the prudent, the prudent, uh, the prudent was Proverbs, right? I'm paraphrasing right now. The prudent repairs and the simpleton passes on and perishes. Yep. The evil, they see evil and they prepare and the, the simpletons, they pass along and they perish because yeah. of stupidity, yeah, that's, right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Sad I'm sorry, does. guys. I, I kind of come in and I'm, but the good news is that he gets us out of here just in time. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So I, so I put up a link to Jax's YouTube. If you want to go subscribe, I highly recommend that you do. Very good stuff. <laughs> yeah. over there. So go and subscribe. Car. Do it now or I'm going to come to your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't mess with the Scottish. Don't, don't do it. Anyway, right on, you're funny. We're coming, Jax. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I kind of have like a bad news, but he's like, ah, oh, you're killing my vibe, Jax. Like, what the hell? Like, no, oh, this no. is awesome. Sausage my ass stuff. is hurting. Oh. I, I, I oh, just yes. feel, I don't feel I, today. I, You're coming in with the truth. I suspect that uh, the WEF, as an example, will be non-existent very soon. Yeah. The, UN, the UN will be having a different function because yeah. there will be a turnaround and it will be, I think it will be this year. But of course I can be wrong, but it will be very soon. And yeah. a lot of is happening behind the scenes already in terms of preparations worldwide yeah everywhere there are military and special uh, special forces stations yep. already yeah, so are. they are waiting for the command for the green light and then they will hit and they will arrest 
more than 500,000 people for whatever professions they are. I think more than a million, but there are 500 sealed indictments already. They are waiting to be handed over to the persons to be arrested. Yeah. They will be having a military, military tribunals. They already have in secret in more, multiple places on earth, but yeah. they will now. The, so the, the important people are already taken down. I can They're tell you down that. the bunkers. They're down they their taken, bunkers. Yes, they are Neon. taken down. Now you know what Neom is, Peter. So oh, yeah. Neom has now slashed their budget by 98.6 percent. They have like stopped Neom, that city in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I know. Because they know. I, I know you know, but some of these yeah. other brethren yeah. do not know. Yeah. If you don't know what Neom is, go look it up. Their little, their little slave city there. I know. Yeah. And make their not gonna plans. work. Not gonna work. They're, it's it's, not, it's gonna not gonna work. Gonna work. Yeah. So no. all these shenanigans of those black guys that they want to enslave the humanity, the world, humanity, etc., will not happen. The, the great reset in that sense of right. the, 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 well, the, we, yeah. the, the WEF yeah. great reset will not happen. It will not happen. No. It will be turned around. And the around. bad world order is going to be replaced by a good new world order, exactly. right? So we're exactly. We're going to the PSYOP, yeah. right? Yeah, and exactly. Is, and all the truthers out there, they're all looking and they're thinking, okay, and I can see them. I watch videos and I see them lying for the lie that, oh, good is coming. No, 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 no. That's what they think. Almost some called base. Right? The Christians. The Christians. Yes. I know. And many of them are actually, many of them are actually probably maybe Israelite. Hang on, guys. But I believe, I believe that Israelites uh, well, from from ancient uh, ancestry, they are uh, scattered in all, literally all the nations of the world. So I think this is just my 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 view. I think that when they are being regathered really toward their homeland in the in the in the in the, in the future, of course, uh, at the end uh, when Jesus returns, I believe that we will see the colors and the people, the kind of people that reflect the whole world, the whole world humanity. And that will be a beautiful sight to see. That's what I think. Uh, I cannot yeah, hear you anymore. We cannot yeah, hear uh, you. Yeah, she muted your mic on purpose. Oh, okay. Sorry, I know, Paul. Paul's at work. Oh, sorry, My, Paul's at work. So like, he's at uh, work right now. Uh, that's oh, why I had to got a call so I, you know what anyways I'll, i'm gonna Just, if i if i mute it's okay you guys go ahead with your conversation okay nope, no uh, problem I, well, I apologize. so don't worry also my suspicion just careful suspicion is that at that turnaround huge things will happen one of the things is that 34 or more satanic buildings both uh, palaces like the Vatican, also the Buckingham Palace, but also uh, the Hoover Dam and the Three Gorges Dam in China. All these buildings will be shattered. They will be totally destroyed because these buildings are satanic buildings and they do a lot of satanic rituals in order to suppress good energies that are normally have to emit from the earth. And God has designed it that way. But these guys are suppressing these energies on purpose. So these buildings will be destroyed. And then what will happen is all these energies that were suppressed will now come. They will burst out of the earth and they will fill the whole atmosphere. And these are energies of love and peace. They will feel good. And this is the what I think is the great deception. The great yeah, well, deception in 2 no, Thessalonians 2, verse 9 through 11, that great deception that God will send to them who don't love the truth, this is one of the big components of that great deception, that at those energies in the atmosphere. And that will be a, a big thing. Also, uh, when we will look up, that's what I heard. I, I think it's a very strong story, but I'm not sure. When we will look up, we will see all those uh, colors in the air. 
You know, when you are in Norway or Sweden, you see the Aures Borealis, those northern lights, you know, in the air. That's what we will see on the, on the whole Earth with different colors even. So I think that it's an indication, and this is huge, but I will just say it. I, I know it's a, it's a sensitive topic, but I heard that uh, oh, they are, there are multiple domes in the whole terrestrial realm. And those multiple domes will be, uh, will be merged into one huge dome. Right. Oh. That church I showed a video, like a couple of video back. That church with the big window, the big basilica, those were energy windows. It was frequency. Yeah, let me in. So understand that the pyramids are energy conductors, and they're yeah. all over the earth. All I know you them. understand that. I understand that. My husband understands that. Many of us do. Some don't. And I you know what God teaches us as He does. But you're not wrong there, Peter. The, the energy they will they will tap into the, the ancient technologies after. Exactly. God takes out. Uh, do you think like, after God takes yes, us yes. out and it, it crashes everything? As so they don't, the thing, yeah, so, out, okay? yeah, Preparing. exactly. My suspicion is that around all these events that will happen one after the other, huge turnaround events, I think the snatching away will happen. Yes. That, that's yeah, that's when it will happen. That's what I think. And nobody will notice we're gone except our loved ones. They're not going to notice. It's not like we. I know, exactly. it's not like the yeah. behind theories. Yeah, it's true. Like, no, not that many of us, and we don't even know how many are feigned believers, really. So, yeah. and yeah. there's going to be the apostasy; those who fall away. We already see it happening. If you want to look at it that way, we can see people going in these weird oh, directions. If you yeah. if you talk about the apostasy in Second Thessalonians two, personally, yeah. I believe that apostasy, that Greek word apostasia, means yeah. departure. It talks yeah. about our departure from the earth. Yeah, that's what that's, it talks about. That's what the husband's been saying. Yes. Paul says yes. He's been saying that. Yes. Going, that's our departure. So. Well, because the context says our gathering to do them. Right? right. And that, that's the context. Yes. Oh, poopy pants. You, you, the, the mystery of poopy pants. How do I elaborate? <laughs> my God. Please elaborate. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm just excited to be here. I'm gee, I was having problems. So I I I, I knew Peter knew like, y'all sure. are great. Like, we are waiting you're for awesome. you. Yes. Wow, you're awesome. Yeah, you're my opinion. I gave you my opinion, all right. And I like I you know, you've got a series going on right now that's just um well those who say they're are, they're J E W S or not, and they're a synagogue of Satan, but we know that. Yeah. We already knew that. God, God did a wonderful thing back in the day, probably about when he brought us out of Christianity. I'm not going to take up too much time. Okay. It's not about me. Um, but one thing no. he, taught, he took us out and then as part of my testimony, but then he taught us all the evil, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, the, the fakes in over there, everything that we were like, what? And our minds, me and Paul's minds were blown and we're like, Okay, God, what's going on? And then we get to hell's a lie. Then years later, we get to, you know, the salvation of all. Then we get to the the, the best for last, the salvation of all, about 2016 to 2018. So anyways, we're just growing from here. So Fantastic. we learned all the crappy stuff, the evil, the purpose of good and evil, right? Yeah. So, Peter, we you say know stuff. I know. Evil, People, right? our kids think we're fucking nuts, okay? But <laughs> what our husband doesn't think <laughs> we're not. <laughs> And our kids are like, mom and dad, you were kind of like, we were kind of ahead of our time, like 2010. But I've had, I've had neighbors come back to me when the freedom Con convoy was going on a couple of years ago here in Canada. I had a neighbor who used to call me nuts. She came back and she was like, you and Paul were right. You were talking about the very things that you were talking about 10 years ago. It's happening now. You guys were right. I'm like, well, we're not trying to be right. We're just trying to warn you. Like, get your shit together, right? Like, hi. It wasn't even... You know, and they didn't want Christianity or God or like, well, not Christianity, but, you know, they didn't want Jesus. But even the things we see in the natural now. So that being said, it's a pleasure yeah. to be with you all. It's a pleasure, it's a that we pleasure to have you too. on, Jax. You're amazing. Yeah, You're amazing. yeah uh, it was. a lot of things, but I don't know. Yeah, Thank whatever. God for Jax. Thank I love God. it. Thank God for you, Liam. You lovely bearded Scottish wonder with your, you know what? You're my daughter, Mia's age. You're 26 years old. And the, the sheep's in Scotland, and I love Scotland. I know. I'm Northern Irish, so there's that. And Dutch. So. Awesome. I like that. But you look how fast. Peter, look how fast Liam has grown, eh? It's like. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow. He went like a comet. 
Yeah. I know, right? Oh, him and Adam yeah. and all the all these like, it's like wow. Yes. God yes. does a quick work. The church, uh, the church explosion. always. Hey, Norman. Hey. Hey, Norman. Oh, Norman. Oh, Hi, Jax. Hmm? You know, this is a historic day. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because Colin joined us today and he's finding out who his family is. And Colin, Colin. 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 Yeah, that's oh, okay. Okay. Colin, oh, brother, brother, do you think you're funny? <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, I talked to him. Oh, like, what is it? Hi, yeah, Colin. It's Colin. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because we, you, because we are, uh, we're the children of it's a hawk, which means in Hebrew, he laughed. That's Isaac's name. We're the children of the promise. And there's the children of the slave who is Hagar, who is Israel and the Jews today. And Christianity is the secret wannabe Israelites as well, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you very much, Norm, for, uh, yeah, for having me as well. And everyone, honestly, all of you, I'm very grateful to have you guys. So thank you. We're all the same. It's the same spirit that animates all of us. No difference. Yep. Yep. Amen. Yep. It's a great day. We are ambassadors of God. And what does the and what does the nations do when it goes to war? They pull out the ambassadors first. And that's what God is going to do with us when he goes to war exactly. with the earth. Exactly. He's going to pull us off the earth first. Capital A ambassadors. Capital A. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's will. That's why the snatching away is also an evacuation. No. Yeah. Yeah. Ian, you gotta have a yeah. talk, uh, Jax, one of these days. We can we can do it over on. Um, she's, she's talking sign. Yeah. Now. She's not yeah. listening. <laughs> Yeah, her husband's on the, the work call. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Jackson, Jackson is awesome. This, 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 is, this is good. This is really good. Uh, other remarks? Yeah. Questions? Uh, uh, Sean, Sean, you haven't spoken. Sean. Hello, Sean. Yeah. You have a new name. Spotted Eagle. Where are you, Sean? Speak to us, Sean. Are you there, Sean? Have you been snatched away, Sean? Have we been left behind? Who knows? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not. Maybe there. he's going to poop. <laughs> he could be. He could be. <laughs> At least yeah, we can tell you. At least we can be real, right? It, like, my sister was really excited to watch my little co op with Catherine and everything. My sister in Saskatoon. And it's um, I've She's only got coming in. Uh, I think Lynn's coming in. Love you, Lynn. You're watching. I love you. My big sister. No, I don't know if she's watching or not. I, I'm always having technical difficulties. She's in out in Saskatoon, and uh, I sent her, you know, her sitting in heaven, and she didn't read it, so there's that. But anyway, it's okay. So I, whatever. She was gonna send it. It's okay. She's got me. She doesn't need a book. She got she got me. But it's funny. Um, can you mute for okay, I will mute. Yes, I'm sorry, guys. You guys go ahead with yourselves, okay? Like, if I come in and out, hey, Norm, I love you. Hey, I gotta go. I love you. Love you, Norm. Bye, Norm. Bye, Norm. He's, Bye. he's already Hey, Paul. Welcome back, Paul. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <Welcome back. laughs> Your microphone, yeah. your microphone is awful. You must have got it from Walmart. Sounds like a battle droid. <laughs> I'm gonna have. He to ordered it from Timu. You, <laughs> yeah, you've got the McDonald's connection. I'm gonna have to mute you. <laughs> I'll take yeah, a burger. I do, not know, I, I do not know the date of the snatching wave. I do know that it's going to happen, and it's of my uh, and it's of my opinion that we're going to be the generation that will not see death and will be snatched away while we're on the earth. So but that's just yeah. my opinion. I don't know when the snatching away is going to happen, but I feel, feel it in my spirit that's going to happen soon. Yes, me too. So take uh, this is the generation. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's it's very close. Yes. Of grace and peace to you, my brother Sterling. Hello, Sterling. 
Okay, I'm going to unmute Paul and see if his mic is working. Oh, no, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> okay, uh, you might need to go out and then come back in because your microphone looks like it's going in a tunnel or something. <laughs> so I'm going to put you back on mute. Okay. Yeah, so, so is there any other well, remarks or questions? How's that sound? I was driving for a while. I think that's what it was. Like. You sound like I'll a robot. <laughs> roger, Roger. Say Roger, Roger. Uh, he's refusing to do it. Anyway, yeah. I, I wanted to uh, shout out to Sean. He knows a lot about uh, the end times as well. Me and him talk a lot uh, every yeah. day, almost every day. He's yeah, Sean is awesome. Subject. He must not have been able to get in and, uh, and make a good connection or something. No, he, uh, he, 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 he was in, but I don't think that his microphone was working. I think it's the same thing that's happening with you, because it sounds like I'm being All right, destroyed. All so, back on again. It yeah. sounds like someone's, like, held up like a microphone to my ear, and he's just like... <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Devil, we have him. Sean is on. Yeah, right. it's Sean. Hey, Sean. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Long time, bro. You guys Have look you like twins. Have you spotted an eagle? <laughs> you guys look like twins. Yep. <laughs> Identical. <laughs> What's up, yeah. Yes. How's What's it going, I wanted to see if I could get in here. Yeah, the connection seems to be working now. Where'd Catherine go? I'm trying to look at this sun so bright out here. <laughs> Catherine's been snatched away, I thought. <laughs> Wait for us, Catherine. <laughs> Okay, love, grace, and peace to Bethany because she's got to go. I just know it she left. So, love, grace, and peace to you, Bethany. Bye, Bethany. Bye, Beth. Love you. What is that noise that's coming from your microphone, Paul? That's, there's, there's just like a haze that's coming from your microphone. Okay, that's no, Beth. Thank God. No, it's good. And... Okay, thank God. <laughs> The yeah, leaves are about to play in Canada. So, guys, if we if I shut off, it's because we are hockey fans in Canada. Okay, Canuckistan. <laughs> so, yes, yeah. they better not lose. Lord, we ask they could have won one goddamn cup before <laughs> before the statue. The husband is he's a Leafs fan, die hard. There's no more merch. We don't buy merch. Will they win a damn cup? I know it's hockey, but all you soccer football slash football fans, you know, you know, it's I it's can't afford merch. right. I can't afford merch either, but you know what? We all have our fun, right? That's Paul's thing. I just support him as his wife. I couldn't care less. So, <laughs> well, awesome. I don't know. You sound a little more involved than that. <laughs> well, I, I'm like, you know what? After so many decades together as husband and wife, I've got to support the man. I mean, <laughs> right, but no more merch. It's, it's a big thing. Leaf fans, I know. <laughs> you guys are in Arkansas. You mother. All right, okay. So wait, what the hell happened? I lost my TV. <laughs> Sarah, are you the one that's commenting on my video? Um, it depends on. I'm not sure. <laughs> We watch a lot of videos. Yeah, yeah, we we really do. I, I I've been really trying to learn a lot this past year, so I, I I pretty much watch videos day and night. So, yeah. Uh, were were they good comments? You didn't shake your head. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that it was us. <laughs> yeah, we'll claim it, but it might have been somebody else. But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I, I like see because everyone's got like like. Do you think you're funny? Like I just talked to you today, mm -hmm. so I'm. Just and it's amazing. It's my personality. It. But, you know, sorry, my name. Oh. No, it's, it's all good. Oh, you know what? Oh, I, what a blessing <laughs> that you and your daughter are believers. 
I've got two daughters. One is a fentanyl, a meth and fentanyl addict. And my other youngest daughter is the one I always take driving all the time. She's 26. She's actually 40 days sober off alcohol. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. And, uh, but even though she worked away at the company, um, it was a big deal, right? So I tried Great. to encourage her. Yes. And she called me a Christian yesterday. And I looked at her in the court. I said, don't you ever call me a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the <laughs> worst way, though. And then we <laughs> repented for, um, ever two feet in hell when they were all teenage. We repented. We were like, we were like in tears in 2011, going, "We're so sorry, kids, that we ever taught you that." We we were so sorry. Yeah. We didn't know. So our kids kind of think we're half nuts. You know what I mean? Because they're like, <laughs> yeah. "What did Dad do?" kids pretty much think I'm nuts, but I'm okay with that. I think we're all nuts. That's why we're together. Exactly. Well, we had to go through our journeys, right? And it's been quite a freaking journey, like just learning and unlearning all that stuff. But everything's for a purpose. We know that. So that being yeah. said, I think not... there's a good kind of madness too, especially if it's relating to being a, a being crazy for for God, being stupid, stupid, ignoble, weak for God, which is yeah. related to what we all are too. We're fools for God. We're God. We're God's fool. We're Christ's fools now. Yeah. Me being the number yeah. one fool because. That's debatable. That's debatable. That's what I'm going to tell my testimony. And when it comes, um, God used Christianity to keep Paul and I from smoking too much crack. Okay. I'm just going to be honest. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know, Cap. I'm sorry. Cap, I know. Cap, I know. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no, really. Cap doesn't mind. He used religion at the time for about eight years to do that. You guys all here. I'll make a video, yes. a multi part series, but it's very interesting what he did. And now we look back yeah. and go, okay. so what I did back then, though, or what God did it through me, is that I was studying the scriptures. So like my last video, I, I, if you guys, if anybody watched it, I was talking about how all the weird things that happen in Christianity. And that being said, um, you know what? Uh, we had really strange lives, very strange lives, and it, which is a good thing. Peter, I know. Like you're, like, uh, Peter, I know. They're just like, I know. So anyways, I, I, I love Peter to bits. Um <laughs> I really appreciate him as a brother because he's very quite knowledgeable. But you know what? God used that religion for a time. And many of us, he does do that. And a lot of us come out of that religion. So there's that. So I think one for me. Say. Go ahead. One of the biggest, biggest realizations for me that I think about so much too is how Paul says in Second <laughs> Corinthians 3, verse 7 to 10, chapter 3, verse 7 to 10, laws of dispensation of death and condemnation is is the way that he phrases it in there. That's paraphrasing. That's not exactly what he says, but he use, He first says that it's a dispensation of condemnation. And then later yeah. also, uh, yeah, he basically says that it's a dispensation of death because it can be easily twisted and manipulated by humans because salvation from a human is futile and trying to put your yeah. own self-righteousness and trying to f enforce your way of salvation is damaging to other people it becomes just a dispensation of death and condemnation yeah oh, yeah yeah but luckily god oh, used that uh condemnation to keep me away door. from uh Sorry, living the christian door. life <laughs> because i was i knew i could never be enough you know yeah and, and i was very aware of that and that's what kept me believing that the the god that i knew was different it wasn't the god that they served i i could feel it in my spirit and i knew that what they said was bullshit and um you know they speak those things that are not as though they are and um you know just a bunch of religious you know crap you yeah, know just to beat you up and make you feel like you know but but the nice thing is those that beating me up thing kept me away from that crap because i i, I just refused to believe that that's what god was was what they were teaching so yeah well that's how god for me like with us with that i know i freaked around when i said crack he actually kept us in line using religion, yep. so we yeah. would go all fucking nuts. That's I know it sounds yeah. it, like not nutty, like we were <laughs> good parents. Like so, we God did what He did. He brought this man into my life at a time where I need someone, and it's like. But then we all grew together. So, anyways, I, I mean, like I don't want to take up or people will come on this video and go, "Who is this woman?" Like, flip, trust me, it's been decades since I smoked any crack, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm old. I'm in my 50s. <laughs> like during that time, in the younger years, when I was 29, God actually he used religion to make us feel condemned and shitty. Yeah, and yeah. Thank God, God. Yeah. Well, we were, 
we were street kids. We were like, yeah. we had one of I didn't get my children taken away. Like, you know what I mean? God used religion to keep us. And then he brought this beautiful young man who brought Christ to me. And then but we religion and this crazy Pentecostals and then, and the prosperity gospel. And then, but he used it for like about eight years to keep us in a little fencing area to keep us. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. But in the <laughs> like a babysitter, but yeah, they're studying the scriptures. We didn't get along with the church. They didn't like us. We got banned from everything. But we're studying the scriptures because we love Christ, right? To bring us. Yeah, to yeah. So, I know. Well, so, well, we use that for good, the devil so. tried to use it to keep me away from God, but instead, it actually worked the opposite because it made me That's run right. toward God and away from Christianity because yeah. I knew that the God that loved me as a little girl was not the God they were talking about. Because there was no formula or technique of God loving me that he just did. And he did that way before I ever knew anything that they had to teach. And because I knew that with all of my heart and there's nothing anybody could say or do to steal it from me. I, I just told God, you know what? If I never find you, God, I'll be content to die knowing that you love me. And that's enough. And then boom, right after that is when I learned about all, you know, all of this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Because, because I wasn't willing, I just wasn't willing to, to live a lie, you know, and um, yeah. And how long was that ago? Sarah, you know what? Uh, a year ago. When wow. my husband presented me wow. with the salvation of all in 2011, he'd been studying for a couple of months. I bawled for about 30 seconds, and then I started weeping and went, "This is the God of mercy that I know. This is yeah. the God of mercy." I instantly I knew. I instantly knew him as soon as he said it. Yes. Yeah. I've been searching my whole life, and as soon as I heard it, I knew it was true. Yeah. Now we got we got the tent maker and all those guys like Gary Emmer and all that, and we were like, "There's got to be more. There's got to be more than this." Because they stop at some of them stop at the salvation of all, but that yes, that was, oh, their end result of the evangel, right? So it That's all I ever time. wanted to do was know God. Yeah. It's yeah. another six to eight years till we actually both understand the evangel, like God took us. Yeah. So I know we all have our stories. So it's quite amazing. Yeah. Amazing how what God does is like, Lord, what are you doing? All right, God's got it, Father's got it under control, Christ's got it under control. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. And learning, and, and also learning, Peter, as you know, like when he took us out of church, it's also learning the knowledge of good and evil. Like he taught us a lot of yeah, evil, chaos. like all yeah. the stuff. And I was like, what? And then we learned about no hell. And then we learned, you know what I mean? And then it's like, it's just been this. Zig, I do a lot of more zagging than zigging in my life. Okay, like that's just kind <laughs> yes. of my. It's not my. It's his pattern, not mine. Like he's just been doing what he wants to do. And me and yeah. Paul. So I know we all have our own fun stories. That oh, yeah. when it's all when we all get together someday, time about snatching away. I cannot wait. Oh, I cannot me wait neither. I cannot wait to see Christ. I want to hug him. I want to hug all of you. I cannot yes. wait. My heart bursts with joy. Oh, yeah. I cannot oh, yeah. wait. And those who are still coming in, right? Yeah. Still some, we're not yeah. done. Yet. Yeah. We're, exactly. yeah. Here. I oh, share God. all the videos. I know. I share oh, all man. the videos I can as possibly as much as I can because I just want every every son of God to just get their ass here so we can go, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. So, You're so, so that's what I do, you know? My husband goes, look at all these beautiful people. I'm like, I know. Like, and we're meeting new ones. It's so exciting. He's like, oh my goodness. I hi. Like, how, do you think you're funny? I didn't know. Hi, hi. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> girl, mom and daughter. I'm like, oh my god, they're so beautiful. It's like it's just all. So <laughs> you're <hard."> beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> There's we're so all many. There's people. many of us, and it's like and I just want to win. If I, I may, know. Uh, beautiful sister in Australia, or beautiful brothers. I know. It's like, thank you, Hi, Lord. Kathy. I love you, Jack, so much. Awesome lady. For sure. I had actually heard. I actually heard. About 10 oh, years man. ago, when I first came home from Afghanistan, I heard Martin. And I knew it was the truth then, but then I um, I suffered from a major depress depression and yeah, stuff. Perfect. And. Um, so I spent 10 years um, just there, you know, in that state. So I, um, this past year is when I really finally started learning the things that, that God had for me. I just, um, yeah, I, it was, yeah, it, it was just That's that fair. this is you're the ex -military? time now. You're ex-military, uh, Sarah? 
Like, yes. You know what I always want to do? I'm a military wife twice over, okay? Canadian military, but I always wanted to join the military, but I had a, I got, I punched out a couple of people back in the 80s, so I got to charge with assault, so I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> there's that, but, there's that. but I have, girl, girl, you're a tough bitch. We need you when we're kicking ass and taking names in the celestials. Right for yeah. mercy and love, right? Right? <laughs> Dolly, send, you know, send me hello on my email. <laughs> I know. You guys go on. I know. We're, we're, I guess we're, I don't know. We're, we're going to have to wrap this up. Oh, five minutes of game time, guys. Guys, yes. <laughs> In five minutes, I have to leave. Hey, I, I just wanted to mention that, brother Liam, you just came into the space just within the last That's couple of years. Terrible right? connection. One, one year, yeah. One year. Yeah. It is, it's like a skyrocket, uh, right? So like unbelievable. Yeah. 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 It is. Well, Truly, John, been I just wasn't meant to hear it until now. So. The robot voice is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's definitely <laughs> you got the best accent. Come on, you know, Liam, you got the best accent. You and Kath got the best accents ever. Yes. Everyone wants to go to Australia and Scotland. Come on, we're not gonna lie. We're all not gonna lie. Hey, can we you know, the Southern accents are fucking turn. awesome too. Hey, what? And the Dutch. Uh, Every time Peter uh, talks, reminds me of my grandfather. My grandfather, yeah. my father's father, is from Zealand. So you, Leo, and Daniel, Tom. He's resting in repose right now, dear yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you talk, every time I think of my grandfather. So. Wow. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah. No. It's, I'm, I'm a Dutchie. Why, why I, is it Paul? No, I just I just wanted to let Sean have a, a turn there. Uh, you've been in the face for about 29 years, haven't you, Sean? Something like that. Wow. No, no five on the five on the grace thing, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Twenty twenty years, twenty years of scripture on my own, and then prior to that, mm -hmm. maybe four years of church. So I don't have mm -hmm. that kind okay. of. Uh, so a lot of that four years of that bullshit's gone. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just, I'm not I'm not really into that. So good to see I you, Sean. I, I, I didn't I didn't have forty years in a church, so it's a little less to unwind, I guess, for God. So, but I'm okay with it. I like my journey. Drug addict, yeah. alcoholic, the world's biggest failure. Uh, family that was alcoholics uh, lived on the streets, so yeah, God's everywhere, bro. Oh yeah, definitely. Me too, Sean. Former I alcoholic, still... drug addict. You know it. You yeah. name it. God 20, did it. But 20, 29 awesome years. Brother. Twenty twenty nine years of sobriety next month. So you know what? Wow. Praise God. Praise yes. God. Yes. Yes. But it's all it's all God. So. I oh, certainly yeah. didn't want it. I didn't like being sober. I didn't like all the feelings. I didn't like being <laughs> subjected to this alchemy. And I'd like to give God the finger, but he just kept on loving yeah. me, man. So there you oh, go. Yeah. He sure does, how, doesn't how he? Important, how, import, how important are them fucking feelings anyway, really? Do we bow down <laughs> and worship our feelings? No. No, we don't. The exactly. spirit of God is our comforter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just because you go to church doesn't mean you're going to meet an angel. <laughs> you, you sure not. You're not going to meet one there. <laughs> you're definitely going to meet yeah. the devil there. <laughs> you're going to meet yeah, Satan is, there. Ooh, uh, that's my buddy Ron. <laughs> red, red nose, red nose, Ronnie. Red came out and visited me here about you know, around uh, January, so we had a blast. We went down to get. We went down to visit Ace. We had a good time, man. Oh, nice. It, it, it's nice. Gonna be nice. It's going to be nice chilling with you guys, you and Jax and all these people I haven't seen on the other side of the fucking planet. We're all going to be hanging <laughs> out, man. I love that shit. Forever. <laughs> Forever. 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 Oh, oh, eons right. Eons, right? Ever, and all the eons and ever and eternity oh, and ever and eternity and ever. District. Hey, we, we got the secret <laughs> invite first before everybody else. They don't know about it quite yet. Peter, yeah. I'm still gonna hug a bear when I get there. <laughs> I got a jet. I got a jet out of here. I'll see you guys in a bit. Love you. Love, grace, and peace to you. Yeah, yeah, guys. Guys. Uh, nice you. meeting you. God bless you all. Nice meeting you. Even though you can't see me. God says bye. Paul, Paul said hi. You know we can see him. He's invisible. I'm always hey, in the background. What up, Paul? Guys, I'm going to leave also.
Okay, we got some peace to you. Thank, Thank you, you for coming on. Love you guys. Bye bye. Hockey John's about to start, guys. Bye bye. Sarah, me too. Send me a aloha, okay, on my Gmail. If you go my video, okay. You know what? I will. Girl, you're like an event. And like, no, really, I'm an ex military wife, so. Yeah. Yes. You're right here, Jack. I was a military. Oh, yeah. I, my third husband, I went now military. No more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she watched her, her siblings while I was gone, so she took care of them for a year. So. Damn, you rock. You yeah. rock. You're a good big sister. Awesome. You're a good girl. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm going to. I've got uh, two daughters, uh, son, so if you watch my videos, I talk. I don't mention their names, but privately, I will. I just don't want to do that to them, right? Because I, I don't know who that was watching, right? So yeah, yeah. yeah. I, That's why I didn't pleasure. mention my my handle either, is because um no, it's right. yeah, most people I don't know it. what it is. But, okay. No, I get it, sweetheart. No, I get it. I I apologize. I shouldn't. And I like to be able to speak my mind and not have a um the fact that I'm a female be attached to my handle. So I I just you know keep it covered so I can still yeah, speak my mind. Everywhere. There's freaks everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I no, I, yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah, those all about freaks, right, Kat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cool okay. with whatever you say, Jax. Okay. I'm just joking. I'm just fucking with you, Mister. Anyways, no, Kat, like, no. Being, being a woman, yeah. Uh, sorry, guys. No offense to the brothers, but there are creepy men out there, right? Well, my, my yeah, brother, well, getting yeah. creepy men. I don't know. There's a like creepy people. Where these men are. Well, the creepy men are everywhere, and the creepy women are out there. Like the the world's just creepy in general. Like, like yeah, everybody's like, crazy outside. right now. He, everybody's like sideways. Yes. I don't know. I yes, they are. Sideways is Jax, <laughs> you know what I have to deal with on Facebook with the men. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told my husband, I was like, if I were single, oh my god, damn. Hella <laughs> thirsty out there. Hella thirsty. But you're beautiful. Yikes. You know what? Y'all are beautiful. Look at the, look at the sisters. I know we got some hot chicks here. Hot brothers. We're also hot. Yeah. We're on fire. Well, wait, wait till we get glorified. Then wow, then I world. can't even imagine. Can't even imagine. The whole I know, right? You know, like the whole world's waiting for us. They're groaning. All creatures, yes, all the are. animals, all of it. You know, today is Earth Day. Okay, so I found that freaking funny today. I don't right? Know. Yeah. But I looked on like the Google because it, it's got this big earth and all these little leaves around on my my down my browser. I said the husband I was like, okay, so we're doing like a, a big collaboration on the things that matter, like celestial realms, because we're not part of this earth. Like we're here, but I was we're gonna not, say we don't ever belong, right? Yeah. yeah. We earth should say fuck the earth day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> earth we'll take a great like, shit outside. Okay. Well, it's not that we don't day. care about the earth. It's just that this earth is dying and passing away. This earth needs a punt, is what it needs. Uh, <laughs> the eon, yeah. needs a punt to the fourth eon, get that little king going on, and let's just get that new earth, the new heavens going on. Then the eons are going to be wrapped up. Then God's going to be all in all, even though we're all in Christ. We're all, we're Christ, but then we the yet, but even that's good. I, I, okay, this is my thoughts. Okay, I'm just going to share two seconds of it. We're going to have the mind of Christ when we see him, we shall be like him, the scriptures say, right? But that's not even the best because even Christ hands everything over to his father. And like everything's, every knee is bowing and every tongue is proclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord, is Lord, the law and glory of the father. But then God is all in all in us at the consummation. Like we're going to think this is really awesome being in Christ, but then it gets even better. And from there, we don't even know because he's a kid. He doesn't tell us because our little pea brains can't handle exactly it. what's going to happen. What's going to happen? Know. All of this is said and done. Is he going to create? Shout out to Michael and Marsha. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Amazing. Hello to Michael Knox. Love, Where's grace, and peace to you. Sorry, Liam. Well, I know. They're, they're in the they're in the comments. Are, there, nice are they in the chat? Oh, yeah. I love, my, I love me some Missourians. Yeah, I love me some Missouri. 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 <laughs> The thing is, is that we think, oh, here we go. Sorry, guys. I love you guys. Okay. I gotta, you, I gotta nice mute. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> it's earth a giant anima. <laughs> yeah. It's a yes. giant. Yes, it really does. It really does. And yes, thank God, does. this earth is going to be passing away. It's going to be incinerated with flames. 
So this is why we shouldn't be disposed to that which is on yep. the earth. Because it's literally right. going to be destroyed. Your home, uh, your pets, and your business is all gone. So don't be too mm -hmm. concerned with the things of the earth. That that means that we love our family members, our pets, and things like this. Yeah. We're disposed to that that's in the celestials, not that that's on the earth. Yeah. Great. Sorry, mm -hmm. I got some crazy. Cra sorry, don't mind me. I just I got some, <laughs> I got some uh, Professor Brown static cling going on. I don't know. It's just a connect maybe it's a Pakistan <laughs> thing. I don't know. Like, he's not even on anymore. But Liam, yes. When I'm the celestials, I we won't have static. Us girls will not have to worry about our hair anymore, right, Kath? Right, girls? Yeah. <laughs> and I would have to worry up, up, about my beard. Yeah. Well. Oh, you'll yeah. have that amazing beard, though. That's quite a Scottish beard you've got going on there, Liam. Yeah, Thank right. you. And brother. Hey, Marsha. Hey, Marsha. Is that my Marsha? Oh, that's Marsha. Yes. My Marsha. Yeah. I love her. She is hilarious on their show. She has a sassy best. thing. Love that it. Girl's one of my besties. Hi, Marsha. <laughs> Paul saying hi, Marsha. <laughs> you hear him. And Michael. We heard him. Marshmallow. Mar 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 crispy. Marshmallow. Crispy Marshmallow. Crispy on the outside. A marshmallow on the inside. <laughs> oh, I don't, I, I'm sorry. I, I take credit for pointing that term. She's oh, beautiful. I, I love Marshmallow. You don't Marsha. know those naughty knots. They're off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah they yeah. really are. I look I forward to it. After this. If I might That's take a little bit of time. Yeah, my husband's uh, liking this. Hey. I'd like to take a little bit of time and, and introduce uh, several of the different people who uh, do have channels that, that preach, like Peter Maya, uh, Brother Leo over in Netherlands. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, Michael Knotts has his channel. Uh, Martin Zender. <laughs> a a uh, We have Brother Martin Zender. Uh, <laughs> Love it. Something. And then... Uh, uh, if you haven't listened to me and uh, and Sean yet, we have the two, two amigos. There's two shows so far on Colossians chapter one and Colossians chapter two. It's listed under my Reddit piece uh, the channel. I've got about well, two amigos. Yeah. Well, cool. uh, the two amigos. Is this like is this like a podcast or something like that, right? Uh, kind of like yeah. It's a it's a running uh, commentary on chapter one and chapter two. We didn't quite make it all the way through chapter two yet, but uh, sometime in the future we plan on doing chapter three yet. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. good uh, you guys know so many people who are. No, no, I'm looking for this one. Yes, we have, 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 have our brother from Canada who has a channel. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> You're the main stage. <laughs> That's all you can. <laughs> you can't hide now. You can't hide now. That's no you That's his name on the bottom left hand side. Do you think you're funny? That's his name on YouTube. Colin, thank you're you. from Ontario, right? All you guys. Thank, thank you guys for having me. I'm from Rob Wild. Take them off. Let's I not forget Rob, Rob Wild. <laughs> Rob, 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 yeah, Rob, yeah, Rob, yeah. Rob, 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 yeah. Hey, Rhonda. Yeah. Does Rhonda uh, do the uh, No, no. She oh. likes to study on her own. She doesn't do the videos. Oh, and then we got Richard Golko. Yeah, we got Faith Igniter. Uh, we got yeah. Scott Hickle yes. as well. Scott Hickle. Really, really good. Hickle, yes. oh, I love Paul's Hickle. Gospel. There's a channel called Paul's Gospel. Uh... Yeah, we got Paul's Gospel. We got Seth. And we got the biggest West. Jesus as well. The biggest Seth, Seth Bellencamp. West Bellencamp. Yeah. Camp, yeah. Rodney Paris has a channel, but he doesn't only he only puts up uh, Martin's videos, I think. Okay. I love Paris. Yeah, me too. She's sassy. <laughs> we also have a new one from Jax. <laughs> so you can follow Jax as well, and she does great okay. stuff, as you can see. <laughs> She's freestyling right right now. She's showing you the <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, still on. Yeah, I can talk again. He's off the phone again. Sorry. Okay, sorry. sorry. Right. You know what, Sam and Sarah, you guys should do a channel. Mom and daughter. You know what? Yes, I would love more you than should. I, totally I have should. Daughters. Sam, come on. I would love you nothing know. more. You are so blessed, Sarah, <laughs> that your daughters. Now, my yeah. daughter, Haley, is mm -hmm. a believer. Mm -hmm. But that's the one that's addicted to crystal meth and fentanyl. Uh, but, but, but no, it, it, hey, God could still do something in her. She's in Toronto. Yeah. 
But she became a believer yeah. when she was in jail in 2018. That's when it lost my grandkids. Um, but she Martin book. Martin and Kelly sent her a book because you can't send books into jail in Canada, right? The, the publisher. So Kelly and Martin um, so they graciously did that. First date in heaven, she had like four months time to do. She read it. And she went, Mom, Paul, because Paul's her stepdad. He raised since she was three years old because my kids were young, right? I told you guys, you guys watched my videos. We were blended. Dysfunctional Brady Bunch family, right? Mm -hmm. I came with three. He came with one. And um, she goes, I, I have a basic understanding. She still struggles with, um, she's not, she's on a simple call shot now, so she doesn't do fentanyl, but the crystal meth is an issue, but she's a believer. Oh, okay, here we go. That's awesome. Well, but I love you, Fido's my daughter. You're so blessed. You were so blessed. Hmm. Yeah. yeah you I you start a channel and you should just you. do a talk with just used to and just talk about some stuff. That would be nice. You That'd should be scary. <laughs> yes, it's scary. it's scary at first, but then you just get used to it, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Same as anything. Riding a bike. Uh, yeah, and you're going to fall off. You're yeah. going to fall off a bunch Definitely. of times. Be, <laughs> be ready for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that hurts, huh? Yeah. Uh, this is awesome. You guys are amazing. Every single one of you. Let me get a note. Sorry, guys. You guys. He's for sure. Sorry. You guys are great. Yeah. I am you proud of too. all you, my sisters and my brothers. You guys yeah. are amazing. Yes. <laughs> you, you know what? You're hot <laughs> sisters. You can like you do the hot the hot mom and like not your sisters, but your mom and dad, <laughs> mom and sister, right? The great thing is that my daughter is not all meth is taking its toll in my daughter's brain, okay? But she's still yeah. a believer. But yeah, that's my important. youngest one that I take driving all the time. She's 26. And she looks like a little mini me when I was young. When I used to have dark hair like Sam, I used to be burnout. Yes. I'm holding on the blonde. Now, <laughs> now, now it's called gray hair. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I have lots so of that. that. Like to have a mom and daughter, like that is like. I know, Liam, uh, your family, you, you didn't even come from a family of believers, did you? No, I was an atheist for most of my life. Mm. So, yeah, so I have uh, I, I have never been inside of a church. I've never been to, like, a religious thing. So growing up, I just thought that God was a cartoon, you know, like Bugs Bunny or something, you know. So I did Which is like, so much better than being a Christian, though. <laughs> yeah. It's better than being a Christian. Thank God that I was not a Christian. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. But then he pulled me out of that, that? And then I became a Christian, and then the, the, pulled me out of that into the truth. You know what? Yeah. And that, you know what? In a way, that is a, a huge blessing because there's another sister, Dana, that was she was a new ager. If you know Dana Mim, anybody you know David Stevenson? Um, mm. Sorry, Dana, if I call you out and you watch this, don't get pissed off at me. She's a <laughs> loving sister down in the states, but she was a new ager, and I had never met any other atheists or. And she was like completely new age, but God had called. Because a lot of us are out of Christianity, right? And I, before that though, Liam, I was agnostic for years. I was, when actually when Paul met me, I was agnostic. I was totally agnostic. So I, I, I've got to do this testimony. Like it's a weird testimony. Oh, okay. You know what, guys? I love you. I don't want to, you guys have a talk. I'm going to put on. No, Jax, please. Don't keep going. You keep going. We're going to make the money. But we have to eat. We have to eat. I love you, Kath. Here, Dolly. Thank you. Yours kind of tastes like cheese balls. Oh, we have <laughs> Greg with us. Greg, come on in, Greg. Come on in, Greg, and talk about the Hi, Greg. Oh, Greg. Get in here, Greg. We need you here, Greg. Come on, Greg. I want to see that bald head. Come on, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what yeah. it says. It's I gotta go great. actually, guys. But grace and peace to Love you all, and, and I'll talk to you nice all to soon. It was, it was nice to meet you, kiddo. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you yeah. Hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, Colin. I'm in Guelph. I'm in Guelph, Ontario. Okay. Okay. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. Greg. On my email and my YouTube, you can you can Hi, send me a, a little hot. Sorry. Hey, everybody. Hey, Greg. There it is. There's the bald head. Hey, Greg. I think I've subscribed to you, Jax. Yes, um, you can send me hello hot my Gmail if you want. You don't want to say on public where you oh, live. Oh sure. 
I'm I'm in Guelph, Ontario. Like at this point, like does it really fucking matter? Like who cares? <laughs> no. Um, you two, the, the sisters, the mother. I, I call you sisters because you look so young, Sarah. I love you. Uh, <laughs> I, it's I the camera. I don't look young. I promise. It's just hitting on you. <laughs> well, you know what, Colin. It's been a pleasure to meet you, and I want to talk to you more. Do you think you're funny? Yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. I think yeah. that is hilarious. I Greg, love it. Hello, Greg. Thank you. <laughs> Greg has been a, like a little positive influence to me when I did my first video. Thanks, Greg. Hey, brother. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye sweetheart. Nice to Sorry, I only just got to say hello to you, Greg, but nice to meet you as well. <laughs> yeah. He's a, a wise brother. Yes, you are, Greg. Nice oh, oh hold on. It's my fault. Okay, it's, it's not your fault that you're a wise brother. It's the dragon is sexy no, bald head. You we kind of fell your ass into wisdom. There you go. <laughs> it was my fault we were getting the, the echo. Life does that too. <laughs> I think Sarah and Sam, I hope they know what the next thing I see is that. You guys are awesome. Mom and sister. Sir. Oh, hey, Greg. Don't You know what, girls? Once you get past Howdy it. Duty. Once I'm you get past it, you can make a video. And I'm then when you're done, just talk to me behind the scenes, okay? Okay, hit me yeah. up. Okay, all right. It's, it's not so yeah, bad. Yeah, you got it. it. Okay, you're awesome. You what are, a blessing. You are too. I think the hockey game's starting, and my husband's starting to give me this side eye. So, oh, I'm not side eyeing. <laughs> Liam, I don't know what sports you're if you're into anything. I don't know. I just oh no, I'm not into sports. I'm just into seeing some good news. That's all I'm, I'm into. I'm a video gamer, and I, I'm a gamer. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I, I really couldn't give a shit. Max, you need to talk. Game. Trying to waste some time. That's all. No, I'm not allowed to play like Grand Theft Auto. I was never allowed in the day. I'm not allowed. When the kids had Guitar Hero, I was no. taking over playing Stevie Ray Vaughan. They're like, Mom, get the fucking Xbox back. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm playing. I'm, I'm, I'm killing it, right? I was a gamer back in the day with the arcade games. You had the Super Mario Brothers. I don't know how old you are, Sarah, but I'm 54 this year. Uh, 29 in my head. But when you got a quarter and you play like for eight hours at the arcade, and it was like, Bitch, but they wouldn't say bitch because I would kick their ass. Sorry, I was a little scrappy. And and I'm like, they would no one say shit to me. And they were like, okay, Jax is just playing that. That's my name, nickname. So playing that machine on one quarter, you got to get really good. It takes a lot of quarters. Yeah. One quarter of play for like four hours straight on Mario Brothers in an arcade back in the day. Greg, do you remember that? Like back in the it's like I'm Damn. back all the way to Atari when it was one I, panel, one right? panel on this side, one oh, panel on that side. I was side. born 1970. Were, okay, that yeah, was the best game ever. All right, let's not age ourselves with Atari. <laughs> <laughs> I used to play Atari. <laughs> no, it wasn't even a console. Yeah, it was a console. Now to think, yeah, yeah, it's the very first and Atari and like Ancient. the pack, the original Pac-Man's and Donkey Kong. It was so basic. Donkey Kong was. Awesome. Now I knew a girl that was just like you on. 25 cents, she'd play Pac-Man for an hour. And people would be saying, man, is this girl ever oh, make a mistake? <laughs> I play Super Mario Brothers, Shinobi, the ninjas. Oh, I could do a quarter for an hour on the Shinobi ninjas. I mean, like, that was my world. I'm a gamer. I'm sorry. But I'm a cool yeah. guy. Love it. I've played, I've played a game you'd probably find very difficult to learn. Most people, it takes them close to a year to learn how to play it before they can really start moving in it. It's called Eve Online. And in a oh, time yeah. when they're giving away a bunch of stuff to people, Eve Online still makes yeah. one hundred and thirty-five dollars per tune. It's quite a mm -hmm. game. It's, it's 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 an alternate universe to go live yeah, in. It's like uh, World of Warcraft, but in space, basically. Yeah. I don't see your email. It's not on there, Jax. Uh, I'm gonna check. Actually, I'm gonna yeah. check. You're muted. I know uh, no, I'm I'm muting because Greg, sorry, because my husband's at work right now, technically. So he's he's yeah, working from home. He's a dispatcher. I was so, two an hour ago talking um, about God. on all my videos. If I'm not too fucking lazy, I will actually put it on there. It's uh the oh I'll, I'll put it on there. Okay. My last one. Okay. Watch you my language. You know, you know what? It's a religious show. It's a religious show. Oh fuck. I fuck, fuck. <laughs> Don't sorry, watch your Lord. language. Fuck me. Fuck. I'm so fucking stupid. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my God. 
<laughs> I'm going to hell. Oh no. You're going to hell, Jax. You be well, How dare you? you Use right words. Liam. Young Liam, don't you know? Don't oh. you know, brother? Oh. And I'm going to hell with you. I'm going to hell with you, lass. I'm going to hell with you. That was not <laughs> so. the bad language or foul language. Hey, I, I, can, I can talk like a sailor if you, if you make me upset enough. Anyways, I'm sorry. Yeah, it okay. took me a long time when I came home to stop doing that. Yeah, it did. You know what? I'm trying not to swear in my videos, so I've actually been doing really good. And then I was like, my last video, I was like, you know, I haven't sworn in a while, so I, I got to throw some swear words in there. Just to, like, mix it up a little <laughs> bit. Because if people You want to feel like yourself again, yeah. That's what you I know, told Kathy. I was like, are you well, sure you want me to go live? I want to be relevant, right? But also, <laughs> I guess, yeah, I'm like, I'm like a... Okay, oh people call me a boomer. I'm like, fuck up. Shut the fuck up, bitches. I'm a fucking Gen Xer. <laughs> we rock. Gen Xers rock. Hi. It's Not a boomer. My parents are boomers. This is Catherine's life. Right? Catherine. Yeah. Like, oh, God. I love Cat, though. But, yeah, like, yes. you know what? I'm real. And actually, the reality is that God, I, the first time I ever saw Martin, my husband asked me to watch Martin. Okay, I'm just going to tell you a little funny little story. About 2016 ish, he had his sunglasses in his car. It must have been, it was, it was Return to Zender. Yeah. yeah. And I go, why is he fucking high? Why has he got his fucking sunglasses on? I was having a day, right? Paul goes, you got to watch yes. this guy. I'm like, man, man, man. So he's got his sunglasses on. I'm, I'm watching him. And he was making a message. But I'm like, I agree with his message. I'm like, the fuck's he got his fucking sunglasses on? Is he fucking high? <laughs> right? And Paul's like, no, no, no. He loves great. I'm like, no, no, no. But I know now he wasn't. But that was my first and thing. Because people just do that. And for that. Yeah. You know, Concealment, you know, yeah. And then some people come along and go, you're swearing. Oh, I don't like that. I'm like, okay, well, guess what? I'm not yeah. going to whitewash myself. I'm going to be all exactly. right and calm down. I'm going to be ourselves. When you do mom and daughter make videos, because come on now, the pressure's on, the pressure's on. Come on. <laughs> this was a lot for me. Yeah, my head's I killing me. <laughs> I know it was. I was nervous as fuck. I was totally nervous, so nervous. And then everything crashed. And I was like, Paul, I was like, I just, I got everything upstairs ready. I got everything ready. I was like. I knew it was because she was upstairs. I knew it. I think our, our modem was, our Wi-Fi wasn't picking it up. Thank you, Bell Canada. But anyways, and I'm like, right. I'm like things are not working. Oh my God, I'm already stressed out. It's like, why are you doing something? Robo Wild texts me and he goes, Jack, you're a natural. Why are you nervous? Sweeties. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't give it too much thought as far as wh whether to worry or not because I just imagined that I, I probably wasn't going to say very much, you know what I mean, since I'm I'm still pretty young, you know, and I, I don't have as much knowledge as other people do. So I, um, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. You're on mute. Love is the most important thing. Love is the most important thing. Yeah. Thanks. It's all about love. All the knowledge and all the wisdom will be passing away, but love will be remaining. So love is the core. It's always yeah, been the core. Yeah, definitely. I've been listening at day and night, day and night, and I, I've learned some, but it's not like um, I, I don't have the ability to call it off the top of my head, you know, like other people do. You know, I don't. I don't just, chapter and verse. I don't know chapter and verse sometimes yeah, at all. It's in here, so don't worry, you know. Sarah, don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. It's all good. It's in here. It's in the heart. It's yeah, the heart. it is. Yeah, and I'm yeah. full of it. You know what I mean? It's just that right. I don't know how to. Uh, yeah, unless it like just suddenly comes to me sometimes, but but I still couldn't tell you where or when. You know, my I, my mind works a little slow because you know I I spent a long time just being depressed, so it's going to take me a while to get back my, you know. Well, it's like Martin says, read the whole Bible. Yeah, that's what he always says. Yeah, <laughs> First time I ever heard that, I was like, year, what? We're going to cover. You know what, Sarah? You went through hell over in Afghanistan, okay? Sister? Yeah. She was at a new base. And the shit there that wasn't you even water over there and the horrors that I think that you can probably... Tell us some stuff that you fucking saw over there. I'm just saying this off. I didn't even know I was going to say this. The shit that you saw over mm -hmm. there that we don't know what's coming to us. Sister, you've got lots. I don't know. You've got, I don't, I'm not bringing that up. I'm just saying that well, you are strong. 
you're stronger than you feel and you are beautiful and you know everything and you've seen some stuff that none of us would dare to want to. And you know what? I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful well, for all your service of first starters and whatever you've gone through. Um, you are strong. You're wow. a strong woman. And as a woman, a woman, you're strong, you. right? Like you, you come back yeah. from that and you still standing. You're still standing. The depression. I get depression really, really bad. So I think I talked yeah, about yeah. my videos and yes, maybe we can talk some time alone with off, off this live thing. And uh, if you ever, I would like to be involved. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Sam, you know what? Come on in your mom. And you know what? You two are a beautiful pair. I love yeah. you. <laughs> I love you very much. You guys are awesome. Off soon. I, I really have so much respect for nice your mother, you your mother being a soldier. I, I've got like, you have no idea. Exactly. Me too. I know. I know. That's okay. You. But you know what? We're all soldiers for Christ now. So yeah. we are like the, like the, the, not the Christian soldiers of Christ shit, but you know what I mean? Like we're, 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 we're the actual, soldiers. actual soldiers. Right? Yeah. And we're just like, what the hell are we doing, Lord? Okay, we don't even know what the hell we're doing. For in heaven. <laughs> right? Like, we're yeah. just like, wait, it's like, okay, Lord, we trust you. Uh, our commander in chief is much better than those in this world. Anyways. Yes. Amen to yes. that. God. Can you imagine that he knew who we were before the disruption of the world? I mean, is we're already amazing? in his thoughts and in his mind and in his heart. You know, he just. Every yeah. minute. Every yeah. sin. Even First. every sin that we're going to commit, yeah. every, every little minutia, it's yeah. like, pretty amazing. Yeah. Mind blown. Yeah, that always blows my mind. Yeah, because I'm like, wow. Because every time I think, how would he choose an idiot like me? I'm so stupid. And and, it's, and then I remember I, I can recall so that he chose me way before, beforehand. And and then I've learned this sense that he created me to be who I am. So there's yep. nothing. So, so I never chose the, any of this. He did. So I have to love it because I didn't, I didn't, it didn't become me because of me. I became me because of him. That's right. And it, it, if we can really absorb that, that's mind blowing. You know what I'm saying? Because we always think that we had some input in who, into who we are as individuals, as people, as you know, our, our 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 most secret places. There's no secret place with God because He made the secret place inside of us. And as mothers, yes. and as mothers, you know, as a mom, I mean, yeah. I've experienced some of my biggest tragedies. Um, I thought it was me as a person. No, motherhood mm -hmm. has broken me in a way that you and yeah, I, I don't understand. Broken yes. me in a way that I never thought I'd ever. I've been a street kid. But when I lost my grandchildren and my daughter, like the things that God did, I was so fucking pissed off at God. Yeah. And then, but he taught me during that darkest time. It was the darkest time of my life. I've been a street kid. I've had dark moments. I could talk. If I actually told my anyone, God will know. You don't know, you know what to But so dark. Such wicked things happened to me in my life. So I was growing up with an alcoholic, um, bipolar mother that was undiagnosed throughout my entire childhood. And then yes. on the street, 15, 16 years old, streets, and then becoming a mom and the crack addiction, all that bullshit. The darkest time was not too long ago, but it was, was 2014, 15, 16 to 17, losing my, yeah. my daughter, my daughter that I talked about earlier. God love her. I love her. Right. She believes. So thank, yes. thank God for that. But it was those grandkids during that time. That's when he actually taught me the real good news. Like, all the things I learned before was the evangel during right. when God can teach us the evangel. And I went and I was fucking pissed. I was fucking mad. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And I, we yell, I know we yell at God, right? We yell at God and go, yeah, 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 what yeah, we are do. you doing? Fuck's wrong in my kid. <laughs> fuck wrongs my marriage. The fuck Lord. Like really? And I swear to him. I yell at him and we yell and he's like, it's okay, girl, bring it on, bring it on. No, yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm going to heal you through this. I'm going to bring you, to your place where you go. And now I'm like, I'm on the other side of this going, oh, hi. Hey, hey God, hello, God, guys. God, God, <laughs> that's Paul. That, that's my main man. Hey, Paul. <laughs> hey, main man. <laughs> but I, I know. I know. It's like, oh. we, did, we didn't ask for this. We didn't ask for our life. We get our lives. And we yeah. like, and sometimes that, I know. 
when we have the understanding of evil. I know Paul's really excited because he got me he got me a tripod. Okay, guys. He got me this fucking nice. tripod. Good stuff. It's, Good stuff. Stick. it's like 33 feet. Yeah. 33. Thank you, Calvin. Illumin Illuminati fucking feet. Anyway. <laughs> I the video when I open it, and I won't actually use it in the video because I actually open it. So anyway. um, Sarah, I think, you, yeah, you know what ahead. he's really refining, and that most people don't realize they think they don't really understand what, what what is it that he's doing to us? Why is it that it's not to us, it's for us? And right. the, ultimately, the, the greatest refinement that he's making on us is to understand love. Yeah. Thank you. Think Thank about you. it. Think about all the pain and the sorrow and the heartache that you have to endure because he really wants you to truly see and understand his essence. And that's his essence is love. And the only way that we can do that is if we're broken down and we're... Uh, we're hurt, Humble. you know, Humble. by the people that we love and we're rejected by the people that we love because we have to fully grasp and understand love. That's it. You know, all of the crap we've been through and there is it right there. There's the essence of it all, you know, and it's it's so important for whatever, you know, part of the body that we become to know that, you know. So, yeah, just you know. amen to that. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That was very that was very well stated. I appreciate that. That's a hard one though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It we really don't know is. what love is. We don't know what love is when we're born into this world. And some of us are no. into an environment where there is no, no example of love to look at. There is and all the people that have wounded you, Greg, you your heart is gonna under is, is gonna feel that love and compassion for that person that has damaged you or just just tore oh, already you to do. shred. Already, already do. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you understand, don't you? Yes. I do now. Yes. I do now, but it, I had a lifetime without love. I wasn't it a fight? Yeah. It wasn't love. Yeah. Yeah. D didn't you just want to flip God off when you first realized it? <laughs> You're like, really? I'm supposed to love that person? Do you know what they did to me? Yeah. But then, but then uh, eventually you start to, you start to have a heartbreak for them that they're so broken that they could do that to you, you know? Yeah. No, I can understand entirely how it came to pass. Yes. I can see perfect justification for it being what it was. And I thank God for it being what it was because that's what made me who I am. And yeah, I wouldn't say me yeah. for anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. That's right. Because God created you. Yes. Yes. And he, he's forming he you into what he wants you to be. He, he didn't just create me. We are he's all created. exactly as the potter designed us to be for this moment of the story. We are yeah. all a member of this moment being manifested and we're all a part of it. Most people yeah. have no clue of what a, what a kind, gracious thing it is for us to be a member in his story, to be a yeah, character right. on his stage. We, we take it for granted, but it's such a blessing yeah. to actually be on the stage and be manifested as a character in his story. But to be characters that understand his truth and understand love and understand what it's all about, my mind can't wrap around that very easily at all. It, it, I know it is hard. I know. And amazement on all the time. Don't look at the sun. <laughs> you know, like that's how it feels. Like, don't look at the sun too long. It'll burn you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> you know? right. Yeah. that's right. <laughs> yeah. It's wonderful. God just gives us a taste. This is just a, a yeah, yeah, he does. sample, a little appetizer. The meal is yet to arrive. Sorry to interrupt anybody. Sorry, um, guys. Um, I got to sign off because it's getting real busy. Everyone wants for the hockey game. I love you. Mwah. Love, love you, too. It was so nice to meet you. We are blessed with your presence. Yeah. And I don't want to interrupt you. Weekends are the best for we us. Weekends are the best. Kath, I love you so much, sister. I Thank love Kath. You. And I love Where all of she? you. You know what? She's sending her love to you, Jess. We love you, too. Bye-bye, okay. sister. Love you. Bye. Bye. That was but, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she, I like, I like Jax. yeah, she is. She is really, uh, yeah, she's really awesome. She's real she's amazing. Mm -hmm, she is. That's a real person right there. Yeah. Up in your yes. face, real. And she yes. don't care if you like it or not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love that. <laughs> I, I never, have this I've thing. never met you two ladies before. I'm Greg. Sam. Sarah. Sarah? <laughs> yes. Pleased to meet you. Sam and Sarah. Nice to meet you too, Greg. 
are you um are you are, are you the person who comments <laughs> on um on Martin's videos a lot every every yeah. morning? Oh, not I know every who morning. you are. No, I don't I don't comment on them every Most morning. Most mornings. Oh, well, there's two Gregs. I don't think that's the Greg that you're talking about, but he does. No, uh, I'm talking about huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a different Greg, but I but I know that man too. Yes, yes, yeah. Because I, I would I was going to say that you seem a lot different than your comments. Oh no, I'm <laughs> I'm probably not. <nothing. laughs> I have left several comments on there, and occasionally Martin will answer them. Yeah, yeah, he sure does. Yeah. He he actually really enjoys the comments too. Yeah, I hear him say it all the as time. A, as a teacher, he should because the only way he knows how well and how effective he's teaching is by the comments and the questions that are asked. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, just think he has to deal with me. So a lot of times I have to end up emailing him because I have questions all the time. <laughs> so can you imagine the questions that come from this mind? Oh, right. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. I have a mind of a child. <laughs> So how oh, long have you been in the truth? Um, I, I, I've just started learning this year, uh, this past year. So, but about ten oh. years total. I, I heard it about ten years back. Yeah, and I, and I just set it down and um, had some troubles, you know. So I, I had to. Uh, I, I just got stuck there, you know. But, but yeah. I'm here now. The yeah, it's just that this is the time. Yeah. The apostle Paul wanted to go to Rome. He he just really wanted to get there badly because he had relatives there and there were friends there and he wanted to go see him. But he was shipwrecked three times. He was beaten. He was put <laughs> in jail. He was flogged five times. Left for dead a couple times because he wasn't supposed to get to Rome until God was ready for him to get to Rome. And when he <laughs> yeah. got to Rome, he got put in prison. <laughs> It's yeah. funny. Yeah, in a hurry to get nowhere, huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that's funny. That's why in the military you learn hurry up and wait. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, this has but, been amazing, guys. This has been amazing. All of the guys and gals that have came on here were doing exactly what God willed them to do it together. We are right. together. Yes. Together forever. Together. Yes, all, and thank you, Catherine, one. for posting it. She, um, Christ. yes, yes, we are. Yes, definitely. The say God is love. That's First John four eight and sixteen. So if God mm -hmm. is love, then we can very easily say all came out of love in John one. So yes. if all came out of love, then we're all just a different face of love. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah. And this is all yeah, the lesson I, I, teaching us how to understand that. Yeah. I wrestled with Martin over that when I first started learning it. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And he was like, no, no, it, you really do have to work on that there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But yeah. Our society, yeah, he, our society teaches us what love is. And actually what they're teaching us is fondness and labeling it love. Yeah, and, and I'll show I'll show you the difference. I love you. You're so beautiful. Let's get married, and we get married. Right. And twenty years down the road, you're not as beautiful as you were. Then my love is not going to be as strong for you as it was twenty years ago. So that's not yeah. love. That's fondness. Yeah, it, with, it withers on the vine Honestly. with time. Love yes. is never lapsing. It goes out to the totally unworthy for no reason at all and expects nothing in return. Yeah, so this is this is the love that God has for us. It doesn't lapse. It doesn't change because of our actions. And it's it's yeah. hard for us in our society of darkness to understand that this love is something that really is in control of everything. Yeah, it really all. truly is. Yes. And thank God for that unconditional thank God love. For that. <laughs> thank God for that. He's yeah. the only one that can give it. He's the only one that will never leave us or forsake us. Everybody else will die and fall, but not God. You know, he's he's, he's the, the only constant in our lives. Yeah. The orchestrator, the architect, and the author of our lives. Absolutely. Amen. Beautiful yeah. words. Beautiful yeah. words. The best words. <laughs> My head's The best going words that one can hear. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to wrap up now. I'm going to post yeah. a link in the chat. I'm going to post a link in the chat. So if someone wants to come in for the after chat, you're more than welcome to. So let me do that right now before I end this. So I'll put it. Bye, guys. So. Thank you. Bye -bye. Love you guys. Thank Bye, Kathy. You thank, thank you for coming in. We Thanks appreciate it. Thanks for coming in, everybody. Yeah.
we appreciate you all come coming in and love grace and peace until next time guys okay so the link yes. is right there click the link and come on in if you want to chat love grace and peace my head's hurting i'm gonna rest my